Well, sound effect, Connor. Yay! Perfect. The closer we get to a bad radio station, the better. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> oh, for sure. Uh, since this is our first uh, session of our second D and D campaign, we've been, you know, we did Fantasy Flight there for a while. Uh, we've got our first sponsor. It's for real now. We've talked about it in the past. Now it's a thing. Uh, so I've got a quick blurb to read, and then we can fuck off and get crazy. Do you enjoy playing tabletop games like D&D or Pathfinder? Maybe card games like Magic the Gathering are a little more your speed. Perhaps you prefer miniature war games such as Warhammer, Age of Sigmar, Warhammer 40k? Still no? Doesn't matter. Gopher Mafia has you covered. They've got dice, they've got books, they've got train sets, including the pre-painted Warlock modular sets from WizKids. You get a box, you can take it apart and put it back together any way you want. They're really nifty, go check them out. They even have the D&D minis uh, from Critical Role, the Wild Mount uh, set featuring uh, the epic beast of Udak. It's a big, monstrous motherfucker. It's great. Go check that out. We have all that and so much more at absurdly low prices. So absurd, you might think, did I crit fail a perception check? <laughs> check again, nerd. That's a natural 20. <laughs> to be fair, I think the guys at the gopher probably crit failed their uh, intelligence checks when pricing out the inventory, but that's just me. Hey, Squeak. That's me, I'm Squeak. Hey, Squeak, you might ask. This place sounds amazing. Where can I find it? The storefront is located on University Avenue in Urbana, Illinois. But Squonk, you might say. I don't live in Illinois. And that's okay because through the power of the United States Postal Service and Al Gore's amazing internet, we can ship your order straight to your door anywhere in the continental U.S. Thanks, Al Gore. <laughs> thanks, Al Gore. <laughs> so thank you, Al Gore, for making this possible. Our sponsor, Al Gore. Al Gore, our unofficial other so, sponsor. So I guess I do I do have the website here wrong. It's uh, www algore.com <laughs> it'll be uh, right here <laughs> yeah right there it'll, it's we'll gonna do come it in, post. in post i now can do yeah post, we'll get it in post so i'm gonna do that yeah so go to <laughs> gophermafia.com right now to browse the store that's gophermafia.com right now if you need help spelling that too bad i'm not gonna do it for you are there any questions wait e-r-m-a-f-i-a dot com you heard it right here. Gopher Mafia. G O P H E R M A F I A. So, are, are there any questions? Yeah. Any questions? So, it, it's gopher uh, no, no like the animal, not go for. It's gopher. No questions? Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. No that website, one more time, is <laughs> gophermafia.com. That's G O P H E R M A F I A.com. No. Stay tuned to Thalus Gaming for updates, special deals, events, promotions, and remember, Squank says, go for the crit, go for the win, go for go for Mafia Games. Go for go for go for go for. Shall we play some D&D? No. Yeah, let's do it. No, All I'm right. not feeling it this well, week. Shut it down. Can we just do, do the intro? Do we have that intro thing? We already did it. Uh-uh, I didn't get a haircut. Oh, we did it. Oh, okay. Got them all cut. Wait, do we want to do it again? Yeah. I can do it. Yeah, hit it again. <laughs> Give me the yeah, countdown. It's the second time. <laughs> it's oh, like over. I gave you the countdown the first time. Oh, it's over? And then you... Okay. That's oh, almost I, I thought it... I just didn't okay. do it the second time. We can play it again. Well. <laughs> we hit it again! <laughs> Welcome to Ethlum, 523 PW, or post-war, a date marked by the first mortal lives not taken in a bout of survival, but an exercise of power, a continent divided by dangerous terrain and even more dangerous politicians. The Gulf of Gilsano, riddled with ports of open trade, wealthy with choice, and a culture built on freedom. 
The soundless steps of mountain rage contaminated with residual titanic magic divides the desert of Desolan from the land of Dostria. Eastern Dostria, an area built upon schools of illusion, abjuration, conjuration, are now looking to separate from the West to find themselves in a constant turmoil versus the branded. East of Dostria, the Windrose River provides the wealth of the of life to thousands along its shores, surrounded by war and decay as the balance that the river was gifted by Palor falls out of order. Outside of the rule of Karo Dost, the king of Dostria, the 15th descendant, who under the pressure of the Brandon has started to sit upon a crumbling throne, as people lose hope in what the land has was created upon. After a year of prolonged conflict, the Brandon have pulled back to their dominion leaving a tired population looking for refuge in their imp impulses and a distraction from what is to come or what may already be. Our story, however, begins in an unclaimed area east of Dostria. Bad timing. At the base of the Soundless Steps, overlooking the Gulf of Gasano, just outside of the boundaries of the Empire, sits the small tourist haven of Mylar. This town has been around for centuries, but has become a booming and lively city the past 10 years. In a perfect intersection of the surrounding plains lands, mountains, and gulf lies a town of an equally contradicting intersection of beliefs. Mylari prospers on its influx of people, exotic animals, and the gorgeous vistas. And here, in this jubilant and joyous tavern, we watch as all six of our individual stories begin to intersect, right here in Maggie and Miley's. So, a tavern here, marked by a wooden sign outside of a very viney outdoors. Um, Druid crafted kind of vines and trinkets and fairy stuff is all about this place. As you open the door, you see a very lively, music's a little too loud too, very lively tavern, um, tables full, Except for one, and uh, you see two fairies, which you would uh, deduce one's Maggie, one's Miley, one, uh, one purple wings and kind of wears purple, the other one more on the pinkest and vibrant, wearing a little like a lay of uh, small flowers around her neck. Run the tavern and have a uh, an awakened tree, um, and you see a sign that's like, you know, any bounce or er, any. Like ill will, we'll be talking to Juniper, which Juniper is the name of the tree that uh, walks around and serves drinks at the fairy's will. At a table, just walking in and being sat by Miley, the more vibrant one of the fairies, is two of our travelers. A tabaxi and an elf. If you guys would like to describe your characters. I'll go. Uh, okay. So, basically, I'm wearing a uh, snakeskin under armor. Just like, uh, I forget <laughs> what like the word is for yeah. it. But there's a word for it. That's it. Latex. I'm not wearing any armor or anything like that. Yes, latex. latex. <laughs> um, black hair. I'm a tabaxi, so I have a tail. It's not been cropped. Uh, black hair leopard print inverse so leopards are usually like orange with little black circles with white centers i'm all black with like i guess you'd say gray or uh deep crimson circles with like gray interiors um no scars no markings very average height very slender um Pim? I am an elf, a wood elf druid. So I look like every wood elf druid you've ever seen. <laughs> All right. I do, I do, I did have one I, more thing to note. Um, I'm not done. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, my character, um, I have <laughs> long silver hair, uh, tall and, and uh, thin, like most elves. And uh, 
my character, I like to describe him as like Legolas, but better. So, because mm. Legolas is a bitch. And he didn't have You're better. better. Nice. No, <laughs> that's why he's better. Um, so I have uh, I I wear robes uh, that are dark green, and then I I carry a, a small dagger and a bow, and that's that's Pim. That's me. Right. I'm done now. Can I uh, resume? Yeah, Fine. yeah, you resume. can resume. <laughs> the only things I would have on my person right now would probably be a coin purse. And two swords. Two short swords. 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 The other thing Swords. you would note if you look in this Eshwords, Alex. person's direction, uh, <laughs> he's not really looking around at anything. He's He's got something. His hands are on the table constantly moving back and forth very quickly. So you two have been traveling together for... A few days now. This um, this is taking place um, the day the day after. So right now it's about six p.m., seven o'clock at night. Um, sun is just setting, and you guys are looking to find refuge for the night. But um, our pre-session or pre-campaign adventure was just the night before. That you guys. That was a crazy yeah. animal we seen what last night. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was pretty big and spooky. Yes, uh, yes he's that boy. Yes, it was. <laughs> yes, it yeah. was. <laughs> yeah. So, I wonder if maybe we should go back or maybe tell somebody? We should probably tell somebody. Yeah. Uh, I think so. Uh, maybe I'll let you do that. You know, I don't talk much. I don't like people in general so uh you you can you can do that i'm going to sit here and play with my amber i will uh i'll get up and uh go over to the bar i guess if we're not already at the bar uh yeah it's so it's a very um uh busy night here um almost, almost like overly where you guys um have been sat at this table um it does look like there's other tables around that are full of people. Um, you see one that looks like they're kind of a group of all men, uh, mostly elves, one like a couple half elves. And uh, they're all very loud and being very like uh, almost like college level drunk. In the corner, there's a there's a bard playing a lute um, very nicely, creating a nice uh, calm tone. There's another group of businessmen on another table, and uh, you two do notice a uh, nearby table, um, a couple of the hunters, or a couple, like, um, people wearing, like, hunter garb, and they kind of, like, close in on each other talking about something. Real but, quick. And then... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, go ahead. You finish your thing. Okay. And then, uh, so on the ceiling, there it's, like, hand-painted... Um, like Sistine Chapel level like um, design of stuff uh, to make your religion check. 13. 13. Uh, that's going to be a total of three, Bob. <laughs> three. Level one. <laughs> <All right. laughs> you look up and you just see colors and paintings and it looks very pretty. Um, Pam, on the other hand, you see a beautiful mosaic of the tomorrow tree. Well, mosaic. <laughs> I explain. The, it's, it's on the sea, painted on the ceiling and it kind of, the, the river, Windrose River that um, kind of leads out from underneath its roots is then leading to the edge of the wall and then it's coming back and circling back, almost feeding the leaves of the trees in this circle of life that uh, having grown up on at the estuary of the river, you were a vital part of that circle of life. You know, I was a vital part of that circle of life. <laughs> uh, but uh, this so is the this is the here? this is the Winderose River. If you uh, 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 uh it's it's maybe you've heard of it. It's kind now. of a big deal. Yeah, 
Yeah, is, is that one right over there? <laughs> That's the one. Ah, yes. And swing uh, just a couple of tables over that group of hunters that are kind of huddled in talking about something, not really paying attention to what's around them. You do notice that they are of the Wildico tribe, and that makes sense for the couple elks tied up outside the tavern when you walked in. Uh, did I tie my mount yep. up as well? Okay. Um, so. I would probably have... Did they come in before or after us? Before. They've been here. They I would have seated myself with my back to them. Yes. Okay. I would have noticed so, them, but then also like made a point to like not face them. Correct. So, both of you make perception checks. 14. Both of you don't hear much of the conversation, but you hear enough to where you you can slightly hear what the hunters are talking about. And it looks like they're plotting some sort of plan to take down some great beast. And you hear um, one of them is kind of speaking in what you guys would know as hyperbole, where they're saying like there's this large tiger the size of a house. Oh, uh, very close by. But as you guys are overhearing this, a satyr bard kind of opens the door to Maggie and Miley's. If Connor, if you'd like to describe your character. <clears throat> yeah. So I am a satyr. So I've got those hoof legs. I've got a couple of curling horns that are coming out the top. They start black and they end yellow at the tips. Are you a, I'm looking Is that like a Minotaur? It's like Mr. Is that a character? It's like a that... tiny it's like a tiny Minotaur. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, like uh what's Goat his legs, name from Naked shirt but with horns. Oh, Make no. sure you're like the, the companion it. in Hercules. Yeah. Yeah. So, exactly. Hercules. Yeah, Hercules. That's it's it. not Emperor's move, it's Hercules. That's yeah. the you want to be a hero kid. But I wish yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm not. But I'm not built like Danny DeVito, so I'm a little bit taller. <laughs> I'm about I hate five this ten. Debatable. I got all black hair, a black like mutton chops, and a mustache oh. going on. You know, Fuck kind yeah. of looking like. Uh, wait, wait, it connects at at the mutton or at the mustache, yep. and then there's no chin. mustache. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Rocking a. <laughs> fat cigar not lit but just kind of like you know it looks like it was burning and i just kind of chew on it for right now um about 510 about 158 years old which is like average like 25 to 30 40 ish for my age you know in human years um yeah brown eyes looking nothing casual or nothing fancy about me really i've just got all black and i got my loot and i'm walking in and i'm hanging out I am seeing what's going on in Maggie Miley's. Yeah, as right as you walk in, you take in all of the scenery that I've uh, already previously explained. Mm -hmm. And then as you're like looking at the ceiling and going like, oh, wow, um, you get interrupted. You, you, uh, a monk stands up from the bar and just looks at Maggie and goes, you cannot let him in. He has disrupted our sacred rituals. He must no, I cannot stand for this. And then uh, Miley kind of flutters over. I'm like, Pfft. I'm just like, what's what's the matter? What's the... And then they have a little short conversation and they're kind of like eyeing you back and forth and like looking back, um, both the fairy and the and the, the bald monk of like a kind of alabaster skin. Mm -hmm. And uh, in their conversation, like you can see then Juniper kind of comes up and be like, because he's kind of the bouncer of the this like little tree that kind of like, walks through, puts his hand on the back of the monk's shoulder, and he kind of like shoves it off. And he's like, ah, 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 and he just kind of bolts by you, and then kind of gives you like that shoulder check on the way out, as a, and then beats the bar. So the monk gave me the shoulder bump and on the way out. Yep. Yeah. Okay. That's a. Oh. Was ah. this monk an elf? Um, no, he was a human. Okay, human. Uh, also, did we see this? I would assume. What's your guys' passive roll? Uh, fourteen. Yeah, you saw it. 
Uh, 15. Yeah, yeah, both of you saw it. Okay. I'll look at, and... uh... Go ahead, sorry. You were... Go ahead. Okay. And so after you get kind of shoulder checked, the monk leaves. Um, the fairy, pink fairy, um, kind of vibrant and lively, uh, Miley comes up. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. Everyone is welcome here. Uh, please, please, please. Have a, have a seat over. There's an empty table, or there's a couple spots over by uh, these two nice gentlemen over here. Uh, just sit down. We'll, uh, I'll, I'll come by, and uh, uh, Juniper will give you drink get drink orders just in a second. We're kind of busy tonight, but... Uh, thank you. Yes, thank you. You, you are welcome. You know, that was from an earlier misunderstanding with him. Something about he didn't like my music. I didn't think it was that bad, but, you know, apparently they, uh, yeah. Thank you for sticking up for me, but you didn't have to. But I would have talked it out. It was fine. Thank you. I'll, I'll go sit down and thank, have a drink. Thank you. We'll be right with you to take take your guys' order. I know, I know no it's rush. been a while. Okay. No rush. You're busy. I see that. Thank you. I'll and go sit down. And Schwing, a satyr kind of pulls up the chair next to you. Um, after seeing him get checked by a monk on the way out. As this is one of the only empty seats in the bar, so it kind of just kind of sits next to you guys. <sighs> Hello, fellas. How are you doing? Hello. Seder. Some Surge. Nice to meet you. Uh, Pam? You, you are Pam? not an elf. Oh. You are not a human. Strange. Oh. And I just kind of like. There's like. You are not an elf. elf and and you are not a human. And you yeah. seem strange. Well. It's just. I. Uh, I've been with the elves most of my life. So it's just. Super crazy for me to see uh, <laughs> <laughs> something that's not an elf around here. It's just. No no, no offense. Well, yeah, there, there, are, there are a few of us around here. We just, you know. Different I mean, social there's even clubs. Giants and minotaurs. You're just like a itty bitty minotaur. <laughs> I. Okay. I'm not, it's a, no offense. I'm sorry. I'm so. I'm not offended. No. I'm just a, it's interesting observation. Should yeah, we sir, uh, make a perception check? Get a round of <laughs> drinks. I will. Um, oh, a round see. you're buying for us, or are you going to drink all three? Well, um. I want to check my hat too because I also said like in pre-session notes that I was busking outside or around like yeah. maybe is I don't know how generous the town is but if I've got an extra little bit of gold or anything to spend probably not gold at level one but uh, um, ooh, that's pretty good seventeen plus two and nineteen perception nineteen on the perception okay yeah also roll a performance check for because uh, we didn't sure. make one for your busking. Oh, okay, fair, fair. Um, my performance is fucking awesome. That roll was not great. Seventeen total. <laughs> okay. I mean, that's... Um, it was eleven plus six, so it could have been better, but not bad. You um. Uh, let's see here. Hey, about you yeah, had a good night busking. Um, you're only left for a few hours, most of the afternoon, and then up to about when your uh, stomach got empty. You made about 46 silver. All right. I'll take that. Um, and for the perception, mm -hmm. you see mm -hmm. just uh, as the music kind of fades in the tavern. In the corner, staying here and uh, playing music here. Mm hmm. Is Mercs. Your old high school rival Mercs. As he lays down his loot and does a little. Uh, Everyone, I'll be right back. Um, Just a 10 minute break at most. I just need to take the bathroom and uh, get me a fresh uh, drink here. And uh, he doesn't seem to have noticed you, but. but kind of steps off and then heads to the bathroom. Can I get up on stage and do like a minor fill? Just like for a song? Uh, do a little performance thing? Yeah, you can uh, You can start heading there as Serge st stands up from the table 
And oh, as he stands right back, up, guys. Just one second. Yep. And as he stands up. Hey, so. Yep. Pim's that was kind of weird. Yeah. He just sits down and is like, I'm going to order a round of drinks. And then he just gets up and walks away. What the fuck? Also, did you hear those guys back there talking about. Is it the saying? I did. Okay. I just. What do we do? I would like to talk to them at some point. I mean, why not? They seem to know about something that we saw last night, so it's... We don't have to. I don't know. Think about it. Why don't we Can talk to them now? Alright. As I'm you guys have this conversation, as Surge that. gets up... <clears throat> two more... Characters. Enter the building. If you guys would like to describe how you guys enter and what you look like. Uh, the door just kind of swings open. Lionel? Sir? Find us a room. Yes, sir. I've been sleeping on the dirt for much too long. I walk past and I look for the authority figure of this wonderful yep. establishment. Behind the bar uh, is a fairy kind of like frantically in, in purple, kind of purple wings and, and a, like a dark uh, kind of violet jacket. Uh, just kind of like frantically like, oh, yeah, oh, we're coming, we're coming, we're coming. And it goes to the register, like pulls out, comes going, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. And then, oh, yes, what do you, what do you need? What do you need? Oh. Uh, two rooms for the night, please, ma'am. Okay. Uh, two rooms. That'll be, uh, um, shoot. Miley, how much are the rooms? I told you, it's 10 silver a night. Oh, 20 silver. 20 silver. Slider, two gold pieces. Oh. Thank you. And uh, make you, if you guys would lend you any drinks or something, we, uh, I'm sorry, we're very busy tonight, but. Um, uh, I don't drink, thank you, though. Okay. Uh, we have uh, water or, you know, very sparkling water if you'd. So I'd love please. a glass. Oh, thank you, man. Okay. And. For you, your uh, your friend. I'm sure he'll wander himself over here in a little bit. I'm sure. You guys see, kind of uh, tall, about about six foot, six foot tall, uh, half elf, with long, black, shiny hair, kind of a, uh, kind of hawk faced little. Like a large nose and very aggressive eyebrows, and then uh, very like pinched face too. Just surveying the room, taking it in. He's wearing uh, like good, well-fitting chainmail. He has a large maul at the end that has like a round stone end that's carved, kind of to have some like rough flanges on it. Uh, Lionel. Is there food? I, I'm sure they have food, sir. Well, fi figure it out. I'm yes, hungry. sir. Did you get a Honest, room? Sir. I got us two rooms, sir. Two rooms? Correct. Here? Yes. <laughs> I suppose. And Would you like fairy sparkling water, sir? I can get you a glass. Sure. Do they have wine? Do you have wine, miss? Uh, I, yes, 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 we do. We they have, they uh, do have wine, sir. Is it any good? Is it any good, miss? <laughs> we we have a... For our wines, we have... Um, they're, they're giving us like... names, sir. Not sure about the quality, but names. <laughs> hmm. I've heard that before. <laughs> <laughs> Would you still like a glass of their finest named wine? Um, um, would you guys like to take a seat and then maybe I'll just, we'll come to the table and take your order and then what well, if you have time to think about it, we'll, I can bring Ask you a sample of wines. Do you have any private accommodations? Do you have any private accommodations? Um, and then like the purple jacketed fairy kind of like zips closer to you and like, uh, what, what do you, what do you, what do you mean by that? A, pr a private table away from a crowd. Um, no, we don't, we don't have any, we don't have any private rooms. I mean, you guys rented two rooms. You could go 
to your rooms, I guess. They suggested the rooms we got for the night, sir. Only two? That's not enough. Correct, sir. Where am I supposed to drink? Um, In the I'm one gonna... room, sir, if you would like to your privacy. No, this will do. I'll drink among the people. There's... Very noble feet, of... sir. Thank you. There's <laughs> a couple of... I'll bring you guys a sparkling water as to, uh, um, there's a table real close, um, there's some fine gentlemen here, they've been here a couple hours, uh, um, very respectable, they, as you, she, like, kind of looks over at, uh, Quobin and, uh, what, what did both of you look like, by the way? Uh, he described himself, I am about six foot three, a tall, skinny, uh, pale purple skinned elf. Uh, drow, um, with a really thick, twisty white mustache. He's, he's wearing a monocle, a nice, very butler-esque suit. He's got a fine top hat, about six inches high, and um, he carries around a cane. Not like using it, it's just wrapped and hooked on his forearm as he carries himself with his arms maybe like belly button high. Is he doing uh, this shit? The... Like... Yeah. Well, okay. he just kind of the, holds himself, kind of like, not necessarily like super proper, but oh, just like. Okay. Just, yeah. okay. Okay. And as uh, Maggie kind of ushers both of you to uh, a couple empty spots, at the only empty table in here, or that has empty chairs, um, with a tabaxi and an elf, a wood elf. Uh, are you guys going to get up in like three seconds too and walk uh, away? <laughs> I beg your pardon. It's just a question. You don't have to answer it. Please have a seat. This is my uh, traveling companion, Pem. One of several. I pulled a chair out for Rekwoban. I was clearly waiting for it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I sit down. It's clearly uncomfortable. And I hand out my hand for his mall. I hand it. Like... I, 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 I seat him into the table, push his chair in a little. My name is Coben Duranar. This is my man servant, Lionel. Pleasure. Uh, I'm Coben for the half elf, and Lionel for the full elf? Yes. Y yes. And Pem? Oh. And Sphere. Yes, th this is uh, Pem. I am uh, Schwing. Schwing? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Well, may the Moon Mother's blessings be upon you. Uh, Lionel, so where's my drink? They said they would bring it, sir. Do I, I know the Moon I Mother? See. Make a religion check. Let's try this yeah, one again. Yeah, I would like to know if I know that as well. Lionel, I suppose you, you may take a break and sit. Join us. Very generous thing, I'm rolling in Tailspire. Hey, it's better than what I rolled <laughs> in D&D Beyond. I take a seat It's with a them, five. As permitted. Oh, it's and 16, baby. 16. Um, Sphinx, unfortunately, you know what the moon is and how there are... Um, the land of Bethlehem here has two moons, so you're like, well, I've, I'm, I'm, talking, I've, I'm probably talking about one of them. I've seen it once and, or uh, twice. <clears throat> yep. Yeah. Uh, Pem? The Moon Mother is, uh, well, you worship a god. Well, your Druidic Circle um, worships and prays to and kind of channels that Druidic energy of Ingharad, which is a collection of balance in the world, the moon, sun, and the world. And you would know that the moon god it's kind of part of your trio of uh, your collection of gods you worship. And this character here worships, or seems to, the moon. You say, did you say moon maiden? I or meant some to. Sort? Okay. Um, the moon maiden is uh, Sehanin, which is. So you do have something in common, though you worship 
kind of the balance of the sun, the moons, and the world. This person seems to worship the moons or the goddess of the moon. Got it. Uh, so I guess I'll say uh, blessings I, back to you. I would acknowledge um, the blessing in whatever form would be appropriate. Okay, so as your greetings are transpiring, uh, Miley is coming up to the table and is about to take orders. If Serge, you would like to make your performance check of walking up to the... Uh, it's not necessarily a stage, it's like a step up and then there's like a corner of the room where there's a loot and a dulcimer set up uh, that is Merck's uh, equipment. Mm-hmm. He is... Uh, mm -hmm. I step up. I take a look around. I'm, I'm taking in like the sights of this bar, kind of like viney and naturey, and I think, oh, this looks kind of like a jungle. And I just get up on stage and start playing, but it's not like classically like, do 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 do. It's it's hard shit. It's metal. It's rock. And I get up there and I say, welcome to the jungle. We got fun and games. That was bad. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I do. I try to play rock and roll for the people. Yes. <laughs> mm-hmm. And uh, what, performance check? Kirby appears frozen. <laughs> oh, no. It's in that one. Look on his face, though. It's uh, priceless. Oh, so yeah. <laughs> <just> <laughs> that. Somebody out that. Nope, no, please don't. <laughs> I'm just so, it then. <laughs> seven total. God, my performance checks are awful. You have to clip the Welcome to the Jungle. Oh, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> don't do it. Hey, though. you know That's what, Connor? You've clipped media. us enough. Yeah, and I it's know. It's time for you to it's get clipped. It's fair. Clipped. Totally oh, fair. Where's Kirby? <laughs> Kirby froze. I don't know. Kirby's lost in the jungle. <laughs> what if he was just like really good at sitting still and he was just sitting Fucking still the whole time <laughs> I bet you thought I was disconnected yeah. I think if he's disconnected my roll doesn't count right so I get to roll again oh he's gone right, I'll be right back I'm gonna get a beer okay yeah I, I, I'm pretty sure the DM has to witness the roll or else it doesn't count Uh, what did you roll? Good old nat one. But what was your total? Seven. Well then, yeah, you fail, I would assume. But you that's one. me assuming things. So, before I DC'd, and uh, Clay, I'm sorry for probably that's fine. disrupting your uh, um, tiles, but... I said, I said, what would you like to do? And then I didn't hear the next part. He said, oh, good. welcome to the jungle. <laughs> good. And he rolled a natural one on his performance. I did track. come back and I heard a nat one, though. Um, yeah. but what, what were you trying to do? He's trying to play some I rock just, and roll. Yeah, for the people. You know, I get up there. I saw, like, the sights of Maggie Miley's. I thought vines, nature-y, jungle-y, yeah. and I just, okay. you know. And you try to play welcome to the, a version of welcome to the jungle. I tried. Um, so Here's as you take. pull up. It. Did you use your own instrument or uh, the one that was there? Uh, no, I would use my own. Okay. So as you pull out your own loot and um, start to play, you quickly realize just a couple strums in that maybe it was the performance earlier in the day, maybe it was all the busking you did. But your loot is severely out of tune, and it becomes like this, cr almost this cry of an instrument battling for its own life as you um, start singing and kind of playing with it. And it is as quickly conversations at tables turn to just like, oh, and then you hear like, stop it. And then somebody throws something and uh, you guys <laughs> all me. notice this terrible performance. Uh, as it kind of like, 
I throw a piece of amber I, at him. I and walk I pull off out stage one and start playing with very it. quickly, and I say, "Thank you. I'm done. Uh, if you don't like this pussy shit that Merx is playing, come find me. I'm Surge. I like heavy stuff, rock and roll. I'm out." And I jump off the stage before Merx gets out of the bathroom and try to make my way back to the table. Lionel, it's okay. all music like this. It ends. I'm not sure, sir. Wait, are you, how are you not sure? Do you not go to inns? Not many, sir. Interesting. Hmm. I must say, I'm not a fan. <laughs> as as Serge comes and sits down <laughs> back at his seat with uh, you know his terrible performance behind him as he kind of coyly oh. sits down. Oh, tough crowd. Perhaps Not my, my best, but... My friend, if, if you practiced more and were better, the outcome would be better. That's, that's, that's why I'm in school. I'm still learning, but, you know, I've, I've got a method that people may not like, but I like it, and there are some that do, but it needs work. But, it needs work, uh, for sure. I, I'm sorry, this is so rude of me. Can I see your instrument, please? Uh, sure, yes. It sounded broken. I I'll, I'll get those rounded it. drinks, by the way. The, the gentlemen, I, you are they already drinking this? Uh, uh, no, so you at the table. Just kind of as you're reconvening and uh, handing your loot over, Miley comes floating over by fl or fluttering. Like, oh, okay, so on we have a Gosano ale, which is um, more for the hearty belly. Um, if you're looking for drinks, we have a, a, a the Lone Wolf ale. I annoy juice, which I know some of you want wine. That is a wine from uh, Selenore. Um, we have a uh, Maggie's Cheer, which is our own homebrew. Um, we have an Island Bomb, which uh, those are for the uh, extravagance and a little uh, daring. And we have specials for under beer, which are only two silver a pop. Um, that's uh, going to be a basic sort of uh, lager. Um, I'll any, just you I'll guys pick up drink? and I'll say this one's on me. Gentlemen, take a drink. And I, you know, they, 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 I get some tips in the street. You know, I, I'm good at what I do. Just I'll take the Asylum the Vintage. I'll have the house wine. The, the you sub local crew. You wouldn't happen to have any, uh, milk? Um, I, I think we we can find some milk. And yes, your, your uh, sparkling water should be right up. Uh, f what animal is that from? I believe it's, uh, she kind of like does a double take over at Surge for a second and goes, goats? Oh, that's my favorite. Ah, <laughs> yes, please do not bring it in a cup. Bring it in a saucer. Okay. Yes, we can do that. Thank um, you. And for you, uh, performer? Oh, sorry. My eyes kind of light up when she says performer. I'm like, oh, you know, uh, the, the, the cheap stuff, whatever. I'm, you know, whatever you got. I'm not fancy. Okay. On one beer for you. That would be uh, 18 silver. If um, I'll be right back with all your drinks. And she kind of... just kind of flies one. across the room. I'll throw one silver into the middle of the table. Yeah, did you say 18 silver for my one beer? You said uh, no, for everyone. Thing. For everything? Okay, all right, all right, good. <laughs> it's like, <ooh. laughs> and Level one. I don't put yeah. any money forward at all. That's fine, this is on me. Do you this say that me. out loud? No, I just... Okay. <laughs> very clearly look like I deserve this. So, uh, please excuse me, I'm going to... Go talk to these two gentlemen here, Pim, if you want to uh, come with me, you can. Uh, please let us know when our drinks arrive. And mm -hmm. I will turn, turn I'll around go. to the yeah. table behind us. I'll, I won't even get out of my chair. I'll just literally just... Okay. Burr, burr, <laughs> like scrape it across the wood really loud and just turn around and sit at their table. So I heard uh, you guys are going to fight a giant tiger. Uh okay. Then did you see this? I'm so interested. Uh, this table consists of a, a Goliath, a human, and an elf, 
and oh, a you're half so orc. big. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As they kind of don't really welcome you to the the circular table that they're sitting at, but with the mention, like, yeah, we'll, we're trying to get, we're trying to take him down. Do you know anything about this? Oh, we saw him last night. He was huge. <laughs> uh, I saw really him, huh? want to hunt him, but it was just me and my friend here, and uh, it, just the two of us. No, no, <laughs> no way. But uh, yeah, I really want to kill it. And uh, one of the party members here at this table, uh, kind of wearing um, picture almost like the Yurikai, where they have like white paint, almost like tribal. Um, he has stag horns, kind of like fashioned into shoulders, um, as like studded armor. And he like looks at you and he's like, "You, you saw them, huh?" The half yeah. as Then you must have seen a, a hunting party there, right? Uh, my attention immediately shifts to Pam, and I just wait for him to answer. I don't have an answer. But I didn't see anything. I was... I fucking ran away. I was big scaredy. It... It was... You did I, something. I, I, I don't know what you did, but you did it. I, I'm not gonna say anything. Okay, okay he's, he's... I don't he's want them to silly. hurt the lion. <laughs> so, anyway... What did anything? you, what did you happen upon this? I kind of interrupt them. <laughs> Oh, last it was night? last night. Uh, it was, where was it? It was right. It wasn't too far from here. Uh, maybe a, an hour walk. Yeah, perhaps? maybe something like that. Can I make a recollection of maybe if this is a connected to the scene we saw? Um, it ate somebody. <laughs> yeah, make it. Oh, that's part. right. That is right. <laughs> we heard screams oh, in the forest. Let me roll on here. I'd also like, since it seems like the other two are getting involved in the conversation, this is not like a two table thing. I'd, I'd Six listen and see. Six inside four, ten. Ten? This makes sense. Yeah. Um, they're exchanging a couple words about um, this, this hunt and hunting party that went on and about how they're. They mentioned the word east of Mylari, and you, you came from the west, so it must have been something else. So, Isa, it's a big... Oh, you're talking about them. Never mind. Yep. Turn back. Yeah, so, okay. So, you guys saw this saying last night? Um, no, we haven't seen it, but we sent out a hunting party uh, a couple, couple days ago, and they've... they've they're Haven't dead. returned. Oh yeah, they are totally <laughs> dead. probably dead. I'm so sorry. Uh, can I buy you? Probably. Drink? At least one of them is dead. I think we oh. saw him last night. I, I think hearing when they're talking about people being dead, I would also and Lionel talking. You spoke of a creature in the night, feasting upon the innocent. <laughs> this, I wouldn't there's, classify there's them three as hunters, so There's three hunters here at the table that are kind of wearing, uh, as what you expect from like a fantasy hunter sort of vibe, where they're just like kind of unmarked leathers and bows on their backs and kind of uh, dirty and um, geared up, but there's one wearing the crest of the white stag as the half orc here, and he kind of looks at you. And is like, yes, there's a, there's a great creature, and some of my party has has gone out to uh, hunt him down. I was talking to you with my friends from a different tribe, and uh, we were looking for some sort of. Uh, to take him down. It's great so, feat. Real quick, looking around, I, I would assume I know all the different Wild Co. symbols on their armor. Yep. 
and what tribes they're from. Yeah. What tribes there's are one, they from? There's one white stag tribe, and then three from the uh, Plains Wildico tribe. So none of them are from my tribe. Correct. But but uh, you are also a part of or were a part of a Wildico tribe. So I'm also not wearing my armor, so there are no identifying. Yep. Markers. Um. So, so what you're go- saying is that. It is not a wild beast, but a hunted one, and it's taken its revenge upon the hunter. Yes. Yes. Well, may I recommend not fighting prey you're not ready to take down? Yeah, I don't know that uh, whatever party you sent out, I don't think you sent out enough people. It's a huge beast. I mean, three people can take down a house. Let alone one that bites back. He kind of leans back in his chair at this point. He's like, well, if you two saw it, what it look like? Uh, do I need to make a history check? Because I honestly don't remember. Um, you at this, at the, yeah, because I ran, hearing, I it, fled. hearing it roar, you uh, crit failed your save and immediately took off running. You never saw it, but Pem knows exactly what it looks like. Okay. Okay. It looks like a gigantic lion with a magnificent white mane. And I think it was eating somebody, yeah? It was definitely eating somebody. Yeah, you told me that. I didn't see it. I... Cats is that big? No, no thank you. But I still want to kill it. I think we have enough people here. Maybe we could kill it. Is there a bounty? Probably 15 feet tall, maybe. <laughs> so a two-story house. It was now we're a... getting somewhere. <laughs> it was a big... It was the biggest animal that I maybe have ever seen. It's true. Yeah, I would probably um, have to say is that this about Lionel, do you think that perhaps it by is a lot the same thing we saw and is taking hostages now? I'm not quite sure, sir. It seems to have happened the other side of town. Yes, but if it's a large beast, it could have come over and found the thing and then tied them up as we saw taking them for its own. Only the most dangerous have that capability, sir. Precisely. I, I At this off. point, uh, I Juniper has walked over. I fucking love that. Yeah. Juniper has walked over the, the like, hunched over tree ant with, uh, in the branches and sits down, like, the house wines, the fine wines, the, uh, under beer for, uh, Surge and a nice sparkling water and a saucer full of milk. So it was eighteen. Thank you. I I tip him another four for twenty-two total, and I say uh, I'll, I'll be done quick. Uh, you know, maybe these rest of the guys will too. Be around again, please, or send the send one of the fairies, please. Thank you, Juniper. Okay. Cheers, boys. And I try uh, to listen in. Cheers. To the conversation, I mean, I'm interested, so I'm going to start listening, you know? This wine needs to breathe. I will not be drinking it. What is everyone's uh, con modifier that is drinking? Take your time. Plus Uh, plus one. Plus two. Plus two. Okay. Um, Oh, I'm drinking milk. (laughs) Yeah, you're fine. (laughs) I think some uh, milk's Colvin? gone bad. This is kind of cheese. I'm still letting it breathe. Oh, okay. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. So, as you guys uh, raise your glasses and do a toast. I don't. Oh, okay. I have a saucer, and I just go, f- like, excuse me. Yep, and just face down for probably 30 seconds. <laughs> and, uh... uh Whatever happens, happens, and then when I'm done, I just lift up, and there's just milk, just right here. <laughs> hmm. I know, is this common? No, sir. I see. 
Well deducted. I, I believe we are all speaking in uh, common. Thought. Yes. <laughs> as you guys are doing your round and come by and then Juniper comes by pretty quickly to get a, another round of drinks going. I'm a, not drinking anymore. Okay, just the one for you? Just Got the it. one. I take the first sip. A, a drunk human kind of stumbles out from the back, like one of the rooms, and goes to the bar for a second and does like a, like, oh, <laughs> okay. And you can visibly drunk, kind of stumbling, and then kind of comes over to the empty chair at your table and is like, well, look, there's only one place to sit around you here. How, how are you guys doing? Are you enjoying yourselves here? Maggie Miley's? Lionel? Yes, sir. Is this common? Yes, sir. I see. <laughs> Do I engage? What Only if you'd like to, sir. I see. I look at him and don't say anything. Hi. How's, how's everyone doing? He's got, like, kind of what was well-kept hair at the start of the day, but is kind of to the side. and um, He does have uh, common clothing on, but uh, sle one sleeve is rolled up and kind of has a, a, a pack of smokes in it, kind of uh, Stand By Me style. And he just kind of sit, sits down and is like, Oh, Miley, I'll take one of another underbeard, please. And uh, you can, you guys all visibly see like Maggie and Miley kind of make eye contact and do like a, and then Juniper just unconsciously grabs the sparkling water <laughs> off the table and like brings it. And uh, he, he looks at you, he's like, how, how is everyone doing tonight? Um, um, my name is Emila. I'm, I'm sorry, Emila. Doing all yeah. right. How are you? What do you think of my song, by the way? I, uh, you, you were playing earlier. Yeah. Yep. He's drunk, so I hope he doesn't realize that I'm just looking. Oh, the, this, I, the things I heard earlier were, were, were good. Ah, my man. Thank you. They're, thank they're you. so good. I want to give him a good look. Sees, um, see if he's actually drunk. See if he's yeah, go wearing anything. Like yeah. I would like to know if he's on anything other than alcohol. Just make another insight check. And you can make one as well. 16 plus insight is for 20. 20. I rolled an 11. Okay. Uh, the 11. Um, just from sitting down, you guys have only had one round, and I think the second round is on its way of drinks um from the time he sat down the uh stench of alcohol even in being in the tavern has like exponentially increased so he is definitely drunk um Lionel you also see he has some military tattoos um I think that's all you can really gather from him. Okay. But he's definitely he's drunk. Okay. He's definitely actually he's definitely hammered. I I look to uh to Quobin. Seems to me this gentleman is a soldier of some sort, sir. Or used to be. I was thinking precisely that. Well, we'll see. I was considering informing you myself. <laughs> I... So what brought all you guys into town? Yes. I haven't seen you here before. Correct. <laughs> we are in pursuit of kidnappers. <gasps> kidnappers. Yes. Who would do them? Who would do that? Our current suspect is a lion. Wow! Kidnapping lion. Never heard of it, such a thing like that before. I kind of like look quizzically. I'm just like that doesn't sound. Lionel, what sound. is our other? So we had other ideas. I was telling you about it earlier, which was. Oh yes, and I hand over. I I go through a little flippy notebook, kind of like um, Steve from Blue's Clues. Can you 
What were my other ideas? <laughs> um, says here you thought a giant night owl. Yes. <laughs> a fire elemental, but of short stature. But um, only the lower branches were burned. Correct, sir. <laughs> uh, a living bush? What else? I, after you suggested then, the gust of wind, we may be able to get rid of that. Okay, I'll take care of the gust no, of wind. No, leave oh. it. Is the bush working with the lion? We haven't thought of that. Write that down. Yes, sir. <clears throat> I write it down. I hear these names, too, and I think, oh, Night Owl. That would be a really cool song. And I'm just taking notes. Soldier. What about Blackbird, sir? The Blackbird? Yes. Yes. Soldier. I double underline Blackbird. This one, this is the one. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's fucking great. Soldier, do you know anything like, of he does like the the... Yeah. Yes, I salute back. I'm taking this quite seriously. I don't work for the military no more. Have you heard of any kidnappings? Um... Not kidnappings, no. But... <laughs> some people have been going missing. <laughs> and that's exactly what a kidnapper would want you to think. Wandered off in the night. Maybe it's all a ruse. Maybe there is no lion. And it's all just a small fire elemental. Uh, Scusi Pim, I cannot understand this man's accent. What is he saying? And I'm specifically like pointing to the drunk guy. But I don't. I have. You know, you know what? Forget, <laughs> forget about it. Yeah, it's it doesn't matter. Where I'm more these, interested in. Where have these missing people been? Missing. I don't take notes. Yes, I. Um, uh, around, you know, the towns and, and uh, around the town, places and, and in other the, places. Are you and at this, this point, Juniper comes with the second Quite round of drinks and, and sets them down, and just like, hmm, as a thank you, know, you Juniper, free kind of nod, and you're the best. As, uh, Ella Margaret's like, oh, have you guys had my my. My drink? I, I what do you guys? I want to guys... put my hand on him, my child. It is very important that we find these kidnappers. And I'll cast guidance on him. <gasps> oh. Please oh. remember well. Lives may <laughs> depend on what you say next. I finish my first beer D4? and I give it to Juniper <laughs> and I start the second. You kind of. <gasps> There was a a missing person. Missing He's person. a kid now. <laughs> Hold on. And uh, in R Rousset Row, there was I. I can't quite remember the name of the building but it was a shop wait no it was a outcome no some sort of person who sells things a merchant and someone of the merchant merchant class. and then yes. seeing the drinks he just like kind of just like you know drunkenly shifts his gaze and goes have you guys had my ale no. Oh, ale? I'm sorry. I didn't know you made ale. I've not I, tried yes, your ale. My ears perk up, I, and I'm interested. I am. I'm. I own the Lone Wolf Brewery, and I come here because I I provide the ale for Maggie Miley's, and then I get to come here sometimes, and then like they give me, you know, it's fun here, and I don't have. It's too funny many because you know what? Bag. I thought you kind of smelled like a brewery. Yeah, food. yeah, yeah. That would, I You're worked there all day, yeah. so that makes sense. Inside check. Is he full <laughs> of shit about working there, or is he inside check he uh, with advantage because he's fucking shit house? Okay. 
Uh, we'll just, I'll just do it like this. We'll do two of these guys. Highest takes the bag. Oh, uh, that's a natural 20 with advantage. I rolled a 19 and a 20. Plus, what was it? Investigation? There's a plus two. Oh, first, first crit. Cheers, viewers. Oh yeah, that is the first failed. nat 20 of... Oh yeah, we've had both to the session. You know. Look at us go. Shout out to both sides. Playing the it. game. There was bad rolls on both sides. <laughs> I got um, new beer. I'll be back in a second. Your insight... Oh, he he is not lying. He, uh... So after doing this, he gives us just like a, a drunken wave to... Goes, a round of lone wolves for the table. And... No, no thank you. <laughs> I love your drug. I, I don't like it. <laughs> Lionel is on the I job. I fucking love this guy. And I will take one, but can you, like, cut it with some milk, please? Thank you. Lionel, it's considered bad form to drink on the job, is that right? Yes, I, that's why I'm not drinking. I, I, I thought as much. Don't worry, I'll, I'll, I'll drink yours for you. I'll have this other. You and I will drink, friend. What's your name? Did you say his name? My name is Emila. 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 Uh, Can oh. you spell that? Emila. Emila. E M E L A R. Emila. All right. I'll have. You and I will have their drinks, friend. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> so the drinks come by, and you guys have a. Have a round of the lone wolf ale. Um, it is tasty. How many drinks have you had there, Serge? I've had two. This is my third. Make a con save for me. I'm Can about halfway dude? through my first glass of wine. Okay, you're okay still. I'm not <laughs> Just good. Be my uh, uh, Sixteen plus two is eighteen. You are good. This will be my first alcoholic beverage, but it is half and half. Half milk, half ale. Ugh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, it's not cheese yet. Cheese and rice. I'm sort of white Russian. And as you guys are... <laughs> it's a white something. <laughs> it's a white American. As you guys are, <laughs> as you guys are having this round and, and starting to you know, get a little loose here at the table... Um, Serge, you notice that the music hasn't started back up, and just as you're like, wait, he's, his break would probably be over, and you look back, you guys all see an elf kind of standing crossed arms over the table in a, uh, he's got like a red swoopy haired uh, high elf wearing a dark purple jacket with kind of red lining in buttons and pockets to match. Um, a little red handkerchief in his jacket pocket with lighter purple pants and a flashy white belt like you would get at like Hot Topic in the 8th grade. So this guy's Michael Jackson? Yeah. And he goes, Well, well, well! Is it old Cloppy from, uh... I thought I heard you tune from the bathroom. Kind of sounded Merced. like what I was laying down in there. Shut the fuck up i'm having some drinks with some new friends <laughs> i don't care ah well if only you, you care about you something, a good night, that something was your music you know what I'm gonna, I'm gonna stand up and then elvish i'm gonna yell come over here and say that pussy <laughs> intimidation <laughs> The wonders of buying a round will do for your newfound friends. <laughs> Lionel, Lionel. Yes, I believe, be aware, I believe this is, we're witnessing a bar fight. No. Oh. Interesting. First, uh, first yes, you are. My first, yes. <laughs> That's a five minus one. Have you? For a, <laughs> for a four. <sighs> Sit down, you little furry creature. I've got my business here with this little... Like, yeah, thank you, thank you, but this is, you know, he's not going to do anything. I'm sorry, I haven't really killed anything in a long time. I just, it I... gets into me. Oh, we might. 
We'll see well, how this Serge, goes. Well, Serge, I suppose you're trying to get in that college that you'll never get into. Uh, with a performance like what I heard from the bathroom, I could only assume it was you. I lean over to Corbin. just don't understand. Seems like we've had an old-fashioned bully, sir. I see, and how do these traditionally begin? Well, it turns out that our newfound friend here with the mustache and mutton chops seems to be of lesser value in terms of social... Uh, <laughs> I can't. <laughs> in, ter in terms of his social capability. And the young man here seems to perceive himself as above. And as friends, we are duty-bound to defend him, his honor? Is that correct? Well, as the church says, to defend the innocent. I so, stand I up and kick my chair back. You, sir! <laughs> dare approach oh. my new friend with that attitude? Oh, I, like I stand, this I stand up behind me, I'm five feet back. <laughs> if you do not cease your ill-fitting words about mm. his musical talent, I will throw you out of here myself. Sir, your mom. I what? reach back and I grab my giant <laughs> ass ball. <laughs> so while this is happening, I just want to get a, a gauge on the three people that we were talking to about the giant beast and the drunk guy. I just just want to see their like. The drunk guy is like him, basically. right now. He's got the mug and he's like. Like blowing bubbles in the top of the mail, and then he just sees people stand up. And he's like, "Ooh, ooh!" And uh, the hunters are now—they've stopped their conversation. They're looking over at the the man who's standing, standing up with a great maul. Um, um, the red-haired elf is like, "Well, no, 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 no need for violence. I was only criticizing our friend here." Musical ability, and I'm sure. And I am only criticizing your personality. And I have had a few of those in my day, but sir, you that seem very rash yourself. Um, I think what we should do here, Serge, is like we used to do back in the day, is where we should perform together. Is, I, I um, lean back must, towards mm, line. Is that how this usually goes? Never, sir. I believe you scared them into friendship. Ah, I've succeeded then, and I sit back down. <laughs> I sit back down. <laughs> well, Serge, I, I... Your friends here, I, I don't want to fight your, any of your friends, but... It was a success. You sure don't. Now, I, your music just seemed kind of uninspired, and, uh, yeah... Emily, I'm blessed so does with yours. You oh. play the same classical shit that we heard for 20 years in school. You know, it's easy to play that stuff up on stage, but I'm trying to do something different. So, you know, I'm trying to reinvent what I know as music, and I'm trying to spread it to these people, and you, I, you have no heart for the arts and the music. And you know what? No if heart, you want to huh? play your classic shit, that's fine. It's great. I don't get me wrong. You're a fine performer, but if you don't understand what I'm trying to do, well, fuck off. Then why don't we let the tavern decide? So this whole I've, time I've had come his with loot. me. Let's. I've uh, had his loot. I've been fucking has, with yeah. him. I've been what? trying to. So it was out oh, yeah, of he tune. Has. I don't know if I know that it was out of tune. Save me, Squonk. So, so I feel like there's a, a, a an arc of checks here. First, I want to like investigate it and see if yep, I can figure out what's wrong with it, and then try to tune it if I can figure out what the tune should be. Let's see what we get here. Rolling Tailspire. Been rolling like shit all night. That's a 10. Mm, that's uh, 8 plus 2. And? Um... It is out of tune. I do know that it's okay. So now I want to have you like this strum it, time. and it's just like, oh, that just sounds bad. Like swang. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> what? So okay. So as the these conversations and various things have been happening, I would have been, also been trying to tune it at the same time, like, trying to just fight. help them out. Sure. Make a sleight of hand, just happening. like with you know with movement with, with your hands as it's going on. I stand and up and I say, you know as what? You're Let's doing do that. it. Fuck you, Mercs. Let's go. Ah. Well, dirty, you guys dirty are all 20. Hey. Okay. 
You so put it back I handed, soon. So as this happens, as they're like, all right, let's fucking do this, man. I'm like, here you go. I think uh, I, I, I played around a bit. I don't know if it's better or worse. I'm not sure. Sire, I'm... it looks as though you inspired him to protect his own honor. Well, the goddess's work must be done one <laughs> act at a time. <laughs> so, Surge, um, as as Merc's kind of dressed the table and goes, <laughs> well, you all will hear the great works of uh, my... F we used to call him back in, uh, you know, secondary school. Uh, Cloppy, because, you know, clops around on his little hooves. He's so cute that way. Lol. Anyways, um, come with me. Mm. And B before you leave, I grab your wrist. So, hmm? new, new friend. After I have taken your side, just know that Sahinin watches upon you with her blessing, and I cast guidance. Yeah. yeah. Um, make a Christmas. Oh yeah, brother. As Merx is trying to intimidate you before the performance, Serge. Me? Yeah, all right, Charisma. Yeah. Get a new... 13 plus Charisma, 16, 19 total. 16, 19, wow. 19, yeah. yeah. You, 13 uh, plus 6. You know, even with your rough performances earlier in the day, you know, you had those brief moments during your busking routines where you were really hitting your stride and feeling it, and you know you have it in you. And uh, as you follow Merks to the stage, as he kind of, everyone quiet down, quiet down. I've, and for my next set, I will be performing with an old friend from from, uh, from school. As everyone gather around and uh, watch. And make a performance check. Can I help him with this performance check? I want to... How so? Grab, grab oh. the lone wolf beer though before and chug it, slam it, and finish the beer. Okay. And then, well, how many drinks is that for you? There will be three total. Total? Make a con save. Mm hmm. Uh oh. Might be in trouble now. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Seven. Seven. As a fail. So the lone wolf beer. That puts to you at a level of drunkenness, so you now have disadvantage on all perception check. But the lone wolf specifically. <laughs> Fucking craft brews. <laughs> the lone wolf specifically. You gotta scroll down. There. Well, well, can I use guidance? I, maybe you, I can use guidance. Would guidance help me in this case? Don't do it here. You can do yeah, it before. Guidance, um, you just roll, though, yeah. But I don't know it how it works if it though, works on the next just so you, or if I hold on to it. Yeah, yeah. you you uh, get to choose for, I think, 10 minutes. Yeah, 10 minutes. Or you, you get it for every I'll use roll. It on, I'll use it on the performance. One, one roll. I'll use it Got on it. the performance so, or whatever's coming up. So yeah, the initial effects of drinking the Lone Wolf Ale is you have resistance to poison damage. And are immune to being poisoned for the number of hours equal to 1d4. So, and roll a d4. You can ro roll it before three. or after making the check. Three. So, three hours, you cannot be poisoned under the poison effect. As Perfect. It hits you, and you're like, oh shit, I'm drunk. But, like, um, also, you're. It's kind of an, it's an ale brewed in a way where it sort of counteracts the no, hang effect on. of. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a clean nice. drunk. Perfect. That's awesome. According to but, plan. Um, you do have resistance to poison damage right now. Okay. So, did you guys get up? It is a mm -hmm. performance versus performance check. I have already rolled. I'm gonna. I want to help him though. I would like to help him. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> yes. How would you guys like to help? Thank you. I I was going to cast dancing lights. That's, so I was going to do something similar. So on his okay. turn. On his turn. <laughs> I'm gonna have him so so it looks like when he's playing music that he's able to control these lights and like kind of like kind of sway and swirl around him kind of like wisps and they kind okay, of like so they kind of strobe different colors as he's playing. Beautiful. And what, Pem? What would you like to do? Is there a fireplace in the room? <laughs> there are various. There's not 
one like hearth, but there are various like small flickers of flame, um, almost like fairy like sized torches. Or something? Okay. Um, but like a lot of them. I think, yeah, I would want to do something like when he comes on the stage, if I could like, like change, the, change the kill color the lights of it and then kind of like, yeah, like dim it down and wave, like, wave them when he starts playing and yeah. like a fiery, kiss yeah, something, yeah. something badass. All right, so you're gonna be would, able to roll your performance check with advantage here. Would my with advantage, be, okay. Probably okay. gonna use guidance. Your tuning too, got so. rid of disadvantage. He was gonna go in with disadvantage. Okay. Your tuning got rid of it, and then they're adding advantage. Okay. All right. All right. Here we go. Is that an eighteen with the uh, performance? Is twenty four? I'm gonna throw guidance on top of that because why not? Another four. That's um, 28. Wow. 28. 28. 28. Level one. Ooh. God damn. I rolled, uh, or he rolled a, uh, a total for 20. So that's what you had to beat. And you did. As Fuck yeah. You guys are both performing like this dueling dulcimer um, little performance you got going. As <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. You guys are playing playing an old tune that you both learned. Um, he pu puts the sheet music up for you, and as he, as you guys are both playing, he can see that you're shredding harder than he is. And he, yeah! He gives you a glare, and then he kind of, as the lights are flickering, the dancing lights are going around you during your solos here, um, he gets a little agitated, and then he stands up and, like, Th like pulls his coat off in this like enthralling performance here and everyone in the entire tavern make a wisdom save wisdom save er mm. er body? is this a charmed effect um Oof. it is yes okay. 11 <laughs> I also have advantage Ah, um, uh, elves, yeah. Fifteen. Wait, you said a what? Wisdom, wisdom? wisdom save. Thirteen as well. I have fifteen as well. Thirteen and fifteen passes. Yeah, That's elves 18, get advantage. Bob. Eighteen pass. Roll again. Sixteen. 16 passes. All right. And we're a Surge. charm bunch. Surge, what did you get? Uh, oh, oh, I make a wisdom save too. I, was, I thought as a performer I was different. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> this is either good or bad. You, you can't. Oh, my. I, hang I on. see it. I see it. Is it 20? It's the 20. It's the 20. It's the 20. It's the 20. Where is it? Right. Nice. Oh, yeah. I can see yeah, it. I can yeah, see it. Hell yeah. As you can see, like, taking up, like, ripping off his coat, and these like, flutters of sparkles almost, like, fly off and kind of surround the room to counteract your dancing lights, and the, and the torch is kind of flickering to the beat. He's unable to, He seems to have charmed most of the commoners in here, and, and as they're, like, tr starting to cheer but you guys are all completely unaffected and uh, I'm looking couple... at him just like down my big nose just swirling my wine <laughs> we notice that he's trying to cast something it's more of an it's just like this charming effect that he has oh okay. not necessarily a spell oh okay gotcha um, but yeah uh, it's you guys' dueling performances end and most of the bar seems to be clapping for him as they have been charmed in like this almost cheater way, but you guys know who the real performer was Looking here. Slim Shady. <laughs> I I as get up and give a stand and go. Oh, okay. I'll I'll point in the back at him. This man knows. You all are Emily gets up for the same shit. Yeah, I, I think I, we would all. Uh, at yep. least I would applaud him. 
Well, um, at least this table here has no idea what they're talking about. But you, you folk here of my lorry, and I've enjoyed my stay here so much this past weekend, and I will be here tomorrow night too. Just come on by. Um, I love you all, and thanks for cheering for me. Um, everyone, t warm welcome to Klops here. He goes by his stage name, Klops. Fuck oh, yeah, I, I go by Surge. That, <laughs> As the the claps and stuff start to kind of drown out the oh, and everyone, yes, yes, yes. And <clears throat> so you guys, as Surge kind of comes back to the table, a little disheartened because he played his his goddamn heart out and played almost the best you. The best you have today, for sure. But Compared almost the best the you ever one. have. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna hand as he comes back to the table. Hey, I don't know a lot about music, but you did very well. And I'm just gonna hand him a small piece, maybe about the size of a penny, of polished amber. I I take a look at it and like this I usually play for coin but what what is this thank you what is uh, uh that is amber uh from what i understand from my friend pem here it's a component used possibly in some magical spells perhaps so i don't know if you could use it or not i like to play with them they are shiny and yellow and that's my favorite and you now wow. see that what he's been doing with his hands this whole time when he wasn't fucking with his loot is just like like a cat does, pawing a piece of amber back and forth, just <laughs> frantically on the fucking table. Okay. <clears throat> I say... So, you know what? Go ahead. Gentlemen, I saw all of you stand up for me, clapping for me, and that means a lot. Thank you. It was a Thank good you job. very much. Coben didn't stand up. It was good. <laughs> I said standing and clapping. I've, I've seen you. You're like, uh, he does your work. You know, he, he does a lot of the work, but you, you know what? I thank you all the same. You stood up for me earlier when earlier he insulted was, I me. I was duty bound. It was a boss. Well, fight. thank you for that. I believe by the rules I must require. That's what I, I think. Whatever so. you say, man, thank you. And to you, and I, I look at all of them, and I just say thank you and bow. Not bow. Why do I say bow? I don't bow. May I see your hat? Uh, sure. Yeah, and I take it off. It it looks like um, like a little bit of like a kind of like a cowboy hat, but not like so cowboy. It's more like rolled in, and it's got like a big silver mm -hmm. buckle on the front. And I hand it to him. I grab his hat, and I put a gold coin in, and I hand it back to him. It. Ah, oh, thank you. That, thank you. You're uh, welcome. Another round, gentlemen. Anybody? I, I'm buying. Grand gesture. Yes, thank you. Yeah, sure. Why not? I haven't I been like... drunk since I was a child. I'm a patron of I'll, the arts. I'll, I'll, I'll take a look at a, a Juniper or Miley, whoever was taking the orders, and I'll give them a signal for another round. All right. As I think I've, I've now finished my first class. Okay. Well, you um, got another one waiting for you because I bought a second round. Okay, make a con save. It is a low DC. It's at eight. Nine. Are we? Um, you're you're refreshed and like now at the point like of drinking, you're like ah, I can relax now. You know. Can I ask too? But, how are we doing silver and gold? Uh, Conversions. Are we doing Conversion? 100 gold to uh, a silver is... or 10 silver to 10 it's gold? Usually it's usually been It's 10, yeah. So 10, 10 silver is one, one gold. Oh, yeah, yeah. 10 silver is one gold. Okay. Yep. And then, okay. Yep. Lionel. Thank you. Yes, sir. I've been thinking on it during a rousing night out of camaraderie, and I think we're growing closer to the kidnappers. I can feel them. Feel them, sir. Yes, around us. I believe the Moon Maiden herself is trying to say something to me. Do you believe the kidnappers are within our presence, sir? I look around. Do I think that? I look for kidnappers. Make a <laughs> insight check. 
not a shady person, but boy, do I look it. 16. 16. Hmm. You scan the room. Too meta. <laughs> um, the hunters, the hunting table has gone back to whispering at a lower level as they were just interrupted by four people not but 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes ago. And uh, they're, they've been keeping it quieter. They don't seem like kidnappers. And you've kind of heard a little bit of their story. The uh, the bard that is packing up his loot in Dulcimer, you kind of know he's more about bullying than he is so much uh, kidnapping. Wow. You turn your head behind you, you see a table full of about seven young elves. And by young elves, they're probably about 100 um, just coming of age. Um, celebrating something. Uh, it's, you're unsure of what, but they seem to be in good spirits. Um, nothing like a kidnapper would be, probably wouldn't be in good spirits. No, I, I um, don't and, think in our immediate... Another table uh, looks like uh, well-dressed businessmen um, having a idle and casual conversation. But you don't, with the 16 even, you see that they're discussing... Like you can see them kind of scribbling notes and passing them back and forth of and like one like and then scratches it out as they seem to be discussing either numbers or some sort of business plan from here it's you're unsure but not necessarily kidnapping no i don't believe they are currently in our presence but i think this rusan row could be our next our next place or the lion could kidnap and I'm trying to remember we found the field and they were lying down in some blood correct is that in our right, notes sorry. I believe so let me check I think it is um we found like like I did, we found like little droplets of blood yes and, and I like deduced that. Yeah. that they were probably tied up and bound as they were stationary for such a long time. Mm. If I was a kidnapper and I had kidnappees and I lived in a town Kidnappies. Kidnappies. I... So from my experience, not to interrupt you, but from my experience, the best thing to do is to uh, induce Stockholm Syndrome or whatever they're calling it, those crazy kids nowadays, uh, to your victims. At least that's how my people buzz. So we're not anyway, it doesn't matter. In a polyamorous relationship. Perhaps. Polyamorous, and I give a big thumbs up. <laughs> This, like, this guy gets it. Yeah. Hey. I don't. I feel like we're missing something. But I can't put my finger on it. Lionel, do you have any insights? Oh, but no, sir. Hmm. But I, I believe the, the small fire elemental is probably off the list. You don't think so? I do not think so, sir. But the burns were so low. They were so low, sir. <sighs> so... As you guys have this, this conversation is kind of happening. We have separated next... from, we have separated from the previous, like three guys that we've been talking to, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. You guys okay. are, it's uh, the five of you and then, uh, um, drunk guy at your table currently. Yeah. Millar. Um, as he is looking, like, you know the turning point where somebody's like still conscious and hammered and like kind of swaying around they're like a part of the group and then like he just like does the thing he's like i'm just gonna lay my head down real quick you know like like i'm just gonna arrest it i'm he, like he's just like i'm just gonna lay it down you know i <laughs> know that point yeah we all do just like does the sets his head on the table sort of thing just like i'm just resting and uh, uh molly comes with kind of looking uh more frantic than the other time she's come where Juniper's brought the drinks, but Miley comes with Juniper and brings about one ale and she kind of shyly slides it and goes, um, we, uh, unfortunately, we've come into a bit of a problem down in the cellar. And, uh, 
We are out of wine, sir. And I looking at you. Kidnappers. Like, <laughs> um, <laughs> well, not kidnappers, well, but we. I, I don't want to disrupt the other patrons, but if you all look, I mean, bringing a mall in here, and you have swords at your hips, and uh, a beautiful performance, by the way. Um, I haven't heard any music like that ever before, and it was is. Thank you. What? Quite wonderful. And um, could you guys um, help us out here? We will pay you. What seems to yeah, be we just the we have to run. We have to I'll run. I'll help you. Oh, oh, thank you. Um, kind well. Let's do it. Yeah. Tell um, you all okay this? is upon you, Madam Innkeeper, because a child of Sir Hanin is a, a patron of yours tonight. <laughs> And I, I appreciate that patronage. I just, I just, if I don't want the other patrons to know, but um, just if we can keep it quiet, I'll, I'll, I'll usher you guys down to the cellar and I'll, I'll pay out. I swear, about fifteen gold pieces for each of you, and you can have a night's, you can have as much mini night stay as here as you want. Inside check on the pay. Go for it. Because that's kind of seems shady to me. Do not. He's like, oh, I pay, I'll pay you. I swear, it's like. Yeah. You really have to swear on it? Is this Maggie or Miley? Miley. Maggie is, hasn't really ever dressed your table. She kind of dresses the people who come through the door. That's a 10 plus you would, 4 you would have never. You would have never talked to her. <laughs> Lionel would have spoken a word, but... Shout out to Maggie Miley's. <laughs> Great. Hell yeah. I figured we started I figured we started campaign it one snap first so we start campaign two and Maggie Miley's from Hell I love yeah. it. Okay. It's so I, great. It's yep. perfect. So, so was a fourteen you had a what? on the insight. Fourteen insight. Um she does not appear to be lying and seems pretty straightforward uh, with the with the payments. Like she seems almost desperate. So Lead the uh, way it seems to everybody the... here is is on board. Before we go Real quick, uh, is there any evidence, any footprints, or maybe some hair? Like? But the, they yeah, were in the what, basement. What does what? the kidnappers of Zavine look like? The matri- the, the mistress of Zavine. I Bavon never is said they were kidnappers. Discretion. We can um, talk geez. about this somewhere else. Can we take a break? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna take a break here in two minutes. Okay. And uh. I assume you guys, you guys are upset, accepting. So she yeah. kind of leads you back, and uh, okay, well, and Emily's like, oh, wait, wait, everyone go, and uh, and then like for that two seconds of like, oh, they left, and then he just goes, he kinda goes over to the hunter's table and goes, hey guys, what's everyone do? And uh, I finds a new back. set of friends. I okay. go back. I pick him up without any oh. words spoken, and I bring him with us. He's coming with. <laughs> He's gonna die. He, uh, yeah, on, that's front, yep. Front he is. Him. He throws up on your leg. That yep. That's cool. That's I'm okay. Not even fa wait. Let me let me roll for this to see if I'm phased by it. Okay. I'm confused. Nope. Are you, I'm good. Did you okay. grab? He, he grabs the drunk guy from the like going to talk to other people and kind of oh, and doesn't really have any sort of land legs as you kind of are dragging him and he throws like just the, the sudden movement that he wasn't expecting caused him to throw up a little bit and kind of puke all over your uh, your left leg and kind of like gets into your cat fur and like it's pretty gross and he's just like I, hey, roll like, I don't care she said she okay. didn't want anyone else to know you know what? He won't know. He's so far think, gone. He's not going not to remember shit in the morning. In okay, a fair proper, point. I don't think fair he's point. in a proper state to help on any type of quest. Sure. I, I agree with you, but he also does not need to be bugging the guys that I would like to go with to kill the big thing. Oh, are you interested in those guys? I'm more interested him. in using them to kill the big thing. Put him in a different table, then. We don't need him. Just leave him alone. He's yeah. only inviting yeah. catastrophe. He's throwing up. He's not going to be any use to us. 
Who knows just what challenge? At this, this point, the bar, at this point, Juniper he walked over. He got us a free round. As far as I'm concerned, he's fine. I just, all right, then I just, it. after all this, I just, like, after hearing everyone, Ju Juniper's coming over. I see that. I just lay him on the bar. All right. And we just continue lay him on, on the bar into the, <laughs> and into head the into the cellar. cellar. You see J Juniper kind of look, go over and gives you, a, like, a short branch wave and then slowly, like, takes him. And almost in a way that he's done it many past few nights, seen him walk towards um, one of the rooms which Quobin and Lionel have bought, but not not the not not yours rooms. One of the rooms to stay here, and uh, leads him to his refuge. And we will take a break. Hey, don't forget, Stop. viewers. Uh, Go for mafiagames.com. We got a whole lot of warlock uh, shit that you should go buy because wow. we've got too much of it and it's real cheap. And that Get is G O P H E R M A F I A dot com. Thanks, Bob. Back to you. Thank you. And cut your cat's dick oh. off. <laughs> All right. And on no, that note. No, I get it. <laughs> As you guys are led to the cellar, Maggie's like, "Remember, I, just let, let me just come back up and tell me you want everything's good, and then uh, we'll I'll pay you out, and I, we have to keep all the patrons uh, happy not here." Fear, and uh, fairy maiden not Maggie, knowing. we will vanquish whatever lurks below the bowels of your bar. There's there's no giant badges down there, is there? Uh, no. Okay, I just Call want back. to make sure. I, I, I like badges, <laughs> but the big ones scare me. Okay, what, so let's go. What creatures lurk in the shadows? As. She... <clears throat> Guys, she opens up the door for you. She kind of like flutters. And then opens the doors and you guys oh first map of the session oh shit. Shit. oops sorry you guys are led to a cellar has some steps down. Um, I'm gonna shift the tone here just a touch. Nope. Uh, one second. There, that should work. As you guys see these wooden steps down and as they go about eight steps down those of you with dark vision which is most of you <clears throat> see all of you actually or do satyrs have dark vision that's a good question but who has the most dark I'm vision? I'm gonna get us no Shut I don't up, think I do <laughs> I actually won't I'll let you know in a second. Quite bright down here. Yeah. We're trying to find it. <laughs> I don't think I do. Okay, Actually, so you're the no. only one that is struggling to see. The rest of them, the rest of you guys can see. I would like to produce flame and make like okay. a little torch light for us. Yeah, as you do, you create and kind of illuminate and surge is the first time you can kind of see down here. Just oh. Besides the light that's coming from the uh, tavern behind you. You guys see as it goes down steps, um, it looks like there's about waist high water and in this water you see kind of flashes of bright light, like kind of almost crackling through the the water. And then on the other side of the wall here, maybe 20, 25 feet away, a hole in the wall, almost probably about um, enough. If you, you could slip through, cause all your medium size, like it would be tight, but you could. But uh, as running water is kind of dumping into the cellar here. But you see like half casts of 
um, resources here, um, kind of you know, being filled up like cask of ale and uh, lager here being almost submerged with water. Lionel, more. Yeah. You feel it in your hand. Stay vigilant. Who knows what creatures yeah. are below us? And I'll yes. cast Vigilant Blessing on Lionel. You have advantage on your next initiative roll. I will not go first. So, I'll go those first. of you who are I'm proficient in history, uh, make a history check. Uh, I believe I oh, am. Oh, I am proficient in history. I am too. I, I am not. too. Right? Natural one. Oh, no, I'm not. Uh, 19 plus 1 is 20 for me. Yeah. And, uh, Schwing? I'm not proficient. Okay. So, as, uh, Quobin starts, um, brashly going down the steps with his maul in hand, I saying, Stay right vigilant! Now. Um, Serge, you know that my Lari, the... The creek that runs through the city and kind of divides the town into two halves, um, north and south, is said to have these lightning charged eels that kind of flow through the creek and the flashes of light kind of um, flickering through the water as it kind of like and tails off is uh, reminding you of those and with your with your actual 20 of the roll that then maybe the creek has leaked in here seeing the running water going to the cellar uh, it's very likely that there are eels here in this beer cellar but the source of where the water is coming from is a little bit further through that hole I'll tell the party stay away careful of the water there are electrical eels in there they will perhaps shock you jump over it or I don't know if you're electric or immune covered in rubber help yourselves but eels in the water well spotted uh, my bard friend I'll use my you... bonus action to cast shield of faith may Sehanin protect me and then I'll enter the water okay <laughs> and as you do it's like a glittery purple like twilight yep. radiance kind of surrounds me make um say make a deck save with advantage the shield of faith Does it do that? no it doesn't it but doesn't for this okay i like it i like it uh deck save for a 15 um, 15 as you kind of like walk through and as you do like the shield around you kind of parts the water a little bit and you start walking through and an eel kind of like brushes against and just and like this lightning kind of shocks around the shield but does not does not hurt you as it kind of recoils and you can see it kind of go back in the water and it swims away yeah be wary. And I think I would keep going. I, don't I follow. I'm always about okay. five feet behind them. Okay. We must find um, where they've breached and rid this uh, you place. You can see, so you can see where the the cellar wall is kind of caved caved in with the pressure of water as it's still kind of dumping into the cellar down here. There I is a door obviously. to your. Yep, there's a door to your right. Um, this is all illuminated with the produced flame of uh, Pem. Um, is closed and a little further on, uh, with this, um, there is another. There's two doors to your right. One is closed. One is open. Where you can see another set of stairs, almost like two way, like almost like set cellar weather doors. It looks like it uh, is attached to an outside door, but the first door is closed. And ahead of you, there is a um, kind of cobblestone is kind of caved in where water 
it's still coming into the cellar here and ruining a lot of uh, the fine resources here of Maggie and Miley. There, Lionel. The creatures have breached the cellar, forcing oh, their no. way in. I point at no, the wait. obvious thing and I walk towards it. Yep. Um, make a... Because as you like get down and walk through the steps, it comes up to your chest. Uh, um, uh. So make a either athletic check to swim through or to kind of carefully uh, wade through the water. Oh, yeah. Athletics. I'm a big boy. You, you can also make a athletics check or stealth <laughs> check. To kind of... There's a couple ways you can... Any way you feel fit to navigate through to the where the water is coming from, you can uh, creatively do so, but... Is this for everyone? Line. Yeah, as you're following Quobin and uh, Lionel right behind. I, I did athletics and I got a 10 because I rolled a 5. <coughs> okay. 10 is uh, um, what you need to get. Um, as you're able to... you like The first <laughs> one that comes by kind of like <laughs> shatters off the shield of faith and you... Um, swim your way to the hole and go, you know, kind of get up and like, kind of stand on a, put your foot on one of uh, like a keg of ale and then like, have your other hand on the hole and go like, come on! As, as water is kind of running over your left hand as you're like, come I got a five. Okay. Be got a wary, nine. the water seeks to submerge us. A nine? I got a, yeah. Lionel got, I got a, a nine oh. stealth check. I got a 20 on my stealth, it was dirty. Also, okay. quick note, once I enter the water, I would like to start, I'd have all four of my paws in the water, obviously, and I want to start making movements to try to deter the eels from discharging electricity. Not necessarily to go away, but just to stop, like, whatever, like, movements I think would soothe them, I want to try to do that thing. Okay, um, so with your, so how, before I resolve that, how is everyone navigating this? I don't, I, I got the, yep, I got the nine, I got the five, so I guess there's surge, how are, are seven? you? Seven, stealth? Stealth, okay, Close. so yeah. that's three, three stealths, and then Pem, how, how did you try to get through? Stealth. Stealth, four stealth, okay. Stealth um, my ass. So... <laughs> Hem, Lionel, and Surge. Uh, well, and Schwing, as you guys are kind of going through, like, gracefully. At one point, Schwing, an eel kind of, like, and wraps around you. You can feel its slimy skin against your fur. But it doesn't discharge any electricity, as it very, almost barely even notices you and goes by. The other three, rolled high on the D4, take uh, four lightning, which is like... Oh, dangerous damn. little room down here. Hmm? Were, ah, were my movements, my shaking, like, so the way I picture it is like high frequency movements as fast as like yeah. your muscles can move. Would that do anything to deter them from uh, discharging at all? Unfortunately, no. Just um, if you would have went first and kind of led the path, maybe, but it was, it was like a Quobin was the, kind of the first guy to trailblaze here, and then the rest of you just kind of followed. Okay. But in, you are on game. In that case, Where's I'm going to pull my swords out and just be ready. Okay. So and... you... Go Real ahead. Quick, say that again. Was it a, a, a fail on the stealth check that take how much damage? Four damage. What was the... Oh, what was the I'm assuming a lightning failed, right? Eleven yeah. is a su success. Oh, oh! I rolled a seven though. Duh. Uh, <laughs> that Sorry. would be a fail. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So as you guys navigate through, and Quobin kind of is the first one up through the hole, and then lends his hand to pull the rest through, and uh, you guys get to this um opening in the where. It looks like Maggie and Miley is just built not having this in mind. But actually, all of you make history rolls. 
21. Oh, baby. 16. 16. 20. History. We'll nice. throw that. And Everyone fire. knows about Maggie and Miley's. Hell yeah. I, I rolled a 10. So remember, Serge, you are drunk. You do have disadvantage on perception checks, but... Oh, thank you. I will, that is all right. Right. You also have a resistance to poison, and uh, you cannot be poisoned for a few hours. Okay. Because you drank the lone wolf ale. Mm -hmm. um, those of you who rolled over a 14 know that this is definitely a connection to some sort of underdark tunnels. Those of you over 20 know that there are legends in Mylari being almost like this intersection of a, so many different biomes, the mountains, the sea, the plains, and one of those is below the Underdark. There is stuff right beneath the surface. But having been built here unknowingly, as you guys reach this little cavern to the left it looks like there is a cave in in the underdark here where there is running water and it kind of looks like there was some sort of disruption and this is where the leak is coming from to maggie miley's to the right kind of snakes around um around the corner where you don't see but in this room there is some vegetation um, like this purple vegetation. Um, around you there are some mushrooms. There are some orange flowers. And around the walls, um, those of you with paps, passive perception over 12, see these kind of large, I mean large in the sense that there's like the size of a watermelon, beetles kind of faintly releasing glows at like intermittent signals of like kind of like lightning bugs would but in this like faint reddish glow staying That's away me. from the bugs and trying to navigate the eels i would like to identify the fauna no sure flora and flora. collect any if i deem it useful uh make a nature check um and you guys anyone else who wants to do something can I would that like is to what you see here. what punctured the wall what has breached? I'd like to point out the bugs to the rest of the party. 14 hey. on the nature. Uh, make an investigation check, Quobo. Um, sorry, what was that, Shving? Uh, 14 for the nature check on the specifically just the fauna. No, flora. I keep. Flora. No, yeah. fauna. So, mushrooms, plants, algae. Fungus, uh, whatever's yeah. growing. Is any of um, it useful? Yeah, you sense. Kind of sitting around, you notice there is this triflower frond that kind of spurts up with an orange, a yellow, and a red flower to it, each with their own little like budding to them. You recognize it as a kind of the this first sub level of the Underdark from where. Um, in the Nindali Rainforest, where you're from, kind of venturing down on the rare occasion. It's a triflora flower frond, and the orange is meant to... Uh, they can all be used for different various poisons and stuff on the Wildeco um, arrows. Um, the yellow is corrosive. The orange is for making people unconscious, and the red is poisonous. So I've got orange is unconscious, red is poison. Yellow is acidic, corrosive. I will try to collect some. Make a slide of hand check. And while we're resolving that, Clay's yeah. gone, Clay's back. I clicked. I, I boop, boop. clicked. It was an accident. All good. Um, your investigation check. 16, I think. Wait, 16. Wait, 15. 15. You see, as you kind of like scanning over, you see the rocks. 
You're like, all right, that looks like a natural cave-in as you kind of are scanning around and seeing the river run kind of almost directly into Maggie Miley's. And you see one of the rocks kind of in the corner of your eye shift and move. And another one as you are not alone down here. Something amongst the rocks is living. Can I cure wounds on myself? Yeah, you can. Creatures are about on your guard. Can I chase one of the rocks? <laughs> uh, are you uh, talking yeah, about the, the eels or I something the else? Rock. Uh, make a acrobatics check. Lionel, the rocks! Yes, sir. Eleven. Eleven. As you, you run over and just like <laughs> one of the rocks is you kinda of grab it like and then it unfurls from like a a uh, like rock formation. And it looks at you with these big, like kind of glowing eyes and like its its head is the size of your um, like almost like a grapefruit. It's this very small creature. But uh, it's mostly head, kind of like a picture of gremlin, but m more head. And uh, as it's kind of like, and then it's got a huge, big, long mouth. As it's now that you're up close um, down here, it is it is purple. And as it kind of like, and it screams in Sylvan, I like ah, now get him. Those of you that speak it, and everyone roll initiative. They attack. Um, real quick. Uh, Did you say I wish, Sylvan? I wish my... Yes. And what was it specifically again? The attack now. Um, yeah, attack. Oh, attack now. Okay. Um, how long has uh, it been since I cast Shield of Faith? Probably about a couple minutes. Okay. It only lasts 10. That's what I was asking. Oh, uh, yeah. Probably three or four. You okay. still have it. Cool. So two things before I roll initiative. I rolled sure. a 17 yeah. on the sleight of hand for the flowers. Yep. Which one were you going for? Were they... I I was under the impression they were all gl growing together. Like, some were red, some were yellow, some were... You're right. So, so I just grab a handful you know, of you know, everything. They, they are, they are tricolored flower, so you're able to pick the whole flower um, without trouble. So you have put in your sheet, you have one red blossom, one yellow blossom, and one orange blossom. Cool. And I'll know what like that it. means. And it, it is not like uh, put into any sort of poison or anything. It is digestible though. Um, but yeah, it's not like you can't coat it. You can't coat a flower um, to your weapon or anything, but you could, you could I would transfer it. Need, like alchemist tools. Yeah. To to, to make the thing. Or boil it in a stew or something to where it would have a factor. Or, or something of that nature. So, okay. my, first my second initiative thing. order. Oh, oh, go ahead. Uh, the... Uh, the thing that he has seen and, like, made contact with. Do I recognize yeah. that as a creature? Like, have I seen this before? Make a... As this is all happening... A uh, just a straight intelligence check. Straight int? Okay, I can yeah. do that. My int modifier is a whopping zero, so that's oh. a straight 19. Straight 19. 19. Okay, as I set the tone here. 19. It is a fey creature that lives in the Underdark called a Boggle. A Boggle? Yep. That is B-O-G-G-L-E. You got it. I'll send All it right. exactly what it looks like to our chat. Hell As yeah. uh, you guys would like to place where you are. I placed Quobin where he found the one, so I will place here where he is. Um, the others are not seen as of this instant, so you guys need to place your characters. Okay, I rolled that are we on, on the map? Initiative. Yeah, we're right here. We're like in the water. 
I don't see anybody so, in the water. I am gonna play. I'm gonna put you guys out here. Oh, That's those are dice. Here's Surge. Here's Fang. And here's Lionel. Um, so you saw Quobin. Uh, Pem also has a torch. I'm behind. Uh... Oh, here we go. I see people. Behind you Quobin. tell me, Kirby, where the flowers were, and that's where I'll be. Gotcha. Um... Oh, sorry, I was moving you. Oh, so we already made it way past the... We're past the water. <laughs> okay, okay. So I'm all the way deep in these flowers. Yep. I'm eager okay. to help Maggie Miley, so I'll be like... In the middle-ish, front-ish, wherever we... You know, I'm going to say I'm by... Corbin here. Oh, yeah, we're, we're battling. I gotta... Hold on. This is important for this level. I don't remember if it's four or five of them. Yeah, it's four. I don't want to fucking TPK you guys on some Please don't. accidental bullshit. Alright, so they are actually this big? So, initiative order. I believe, Lionel, you had some extra boost to this. We enter uh, I just mode. had an advantage, right? Yep. Uh, so 22 for me. Damn! 22! I had 18. Okay, Lionel's gonna go first. Woven probably second. Uh, what's everyone's initiative? We got Shfing, we need Pem, and we need a... Uh, I got eight. Surge, okay. Eight. I was 15. And Shfing? Nine. Okay, so boom, boom. Boom, nine. boom. Nine. Shoot. Nine. Uh, nine. Surge? Nine. No, I got you. Nine. That's it. Five, and then the shrooms. They're boggles. Just sent you guys a picture of. Applying turn order. Lionel, you're up. As you see, Quobin oh. just grab one. He's got it. He, you have it grappled, Quobin. Just so you know, this one right next ah. to you is grappled. I move up to him. Wonderful grab, sir. And I unsheathe. <laughs> I twist the hook part of my cane and whip out a rapier from inside of it. Yeah, and, I knew it. And, and I and I stab. I stab, stab the gop with a boggle. Yeah. For a an eighteen to hit. Eighteen hits. Alright. So that will be six points of piercing damage plus another five points of sneak attack damage. Eleven points of piercing. Nice. Eleven as you as, as he's grappled, um, you take him down. Well struck, Lionel. Only, sir. <laughs> All right, so you end your turn. Will... Uh, you still might have some movement left. Um, no, I was just looking if I had any bonus actions yet. I do not, though. But yeah, I'm done. All right, I'll charge to the left. To the left, to the left. I charge over. I will attempt to vanquish the creature. And I, as I pull back with my maul, this like silver light shoots up around from my hands up to the end and I'll hit it with green frame braid. Green frame braid. <laughs> <laughs> green frame braid. Green frame braid. Green frame braid. <laughs> Sure, why not? Go for it. Uh, I need to double check if the...
10. That's 10. 10 bludgeoning damage as I go up with my great maul. And just... uh, what was the attack? What was the, the, 18 the swing? To hit. Oh, yeah. The, okay. And then how much? 10? 10 bludgeoning. Okay. As you almost vanquish it as it looks completely bludgeoned as you and just like your whole kind of the head of your mace smashes it its entire body is just, ah, there you go. fucking jesus christ it's on the verge dude i can't wait to yeah. play this character and just get the biggest meanest mace and just start clubbing dude <laughs> i just what a fucking bludgeon As oh, is now their turn, unless you have a bonus action or want to move anymore. I don't think I have a bonus action, so. Okay. So, it is now the Boggles' turns. It's one near you. It's going to, like, as you hit it, it kind of just, like, secretes this oil around the ground. And then is going to make an attack on you. That is an 11. Miss. Miss. Okay. It just comes up and Miss. I shove my boot and it like bites onto my grief. Or however it attacks. <laughs> this one charges and also lets out this secretion. Though a different substance here uh, around Lionel and Surge as he is going to then make a pummel attack towards Lionel for a nine. Misses. Um, this, okay, this other one and then comes out and plush. Well, it's less of the secretion near Sphinx and it goes to attack. Wow, that is a four. Yeah, oh. level one, level one. Well, level one. <laughs> All right. And uh, Surge, it is now your turn. Um, you are currently standing on sticky oil as the secretion kind of and kind of almost sit like fashions you to the ground here like i'm stuck okay all right um i will look well y you can break free um but i want to like break sticky, free so, so if you want to move it's half movement I if you want to break avoid free. that you can do that but it's a roll um no i think for now let me see what a bonus action is Bonus action, I'm going to give Bardic Inspiration to... Who's next? I'm going to give it to Sphinx here. Okay. How do you guys so say? he gets How... one. What do you say? What do you, you play? Sing, you can song. do it! <laughs> I don't know. I, I wasn't expecting yeah, to say That works. That yeah, works. So this, is, this is level one inspiring. It's not, you know, you know. <laughs> it's not huge. Yeah, you can do it. <laughs> um, you got then... it, buddy. <laughs> so what does inspire or... do for me then? If you I gotta, like have you eight... got a D six. Correct. To for... any roll. For ten for minutes. For how long and how many times do minutes. I do it? You have one time. Minute. Minute. I think you only get one roll. Okay, so I can. Okay. This can be added after seeing the roll, but before knowing the outcome. If that helps. Okay. And for an action, I will look at the one that came up next to me, and I will cast uh, Dissonant Whispers. Damn. Okay. Yeah. So he has to make a Wisdom saving throw of 14 or greater. 14. Nice. That's high. That for is... Level one. Is it a Wisdom? Mm hmm. Uh, is it 10? So, he yeah. takes, on a failed save, takes 3d6 psychic damage and must Im immediately use its reaction, if available, to move as far away as possible. I right, roll 3d6. I will. And I will do that in Talesplayer since we are in it. Eleven damage 11. to that one. Right, as the psychic damage is like, and like the back of his head kind of just like, that's it. he's dead. 
Blue is ah. mind. <laughs> nice. Literally. Um, in my movement, I will, uh... Watch there, I man. I'm in the middle of both sides here. Not gonna move. Okay, you are also still sticky. Oh, right. I am. Um, Ding. well... Oh. Yeah, no, it's right. fine. Yeah, use it's your action. Fine. You're still... Yeah. Unless you want to use your movement at all. All right. Yeah. Swing your up. Pam, you're on deck. So I'm going to look at this small creature right in front of me in Sylvan. I'm going to say, oh, you know, I haven't been able to kill anything in a, quite a while. I will enjoy this unless you want to run away. And I will give it no chance to respond. I've got my two swords out, and I just start stabbing and slicing. And... Go for it. <laughs> I also say I want to hear that in Sylvan, and I'll shout at the, what do you call it? I'm like, he's a cold-blooded killer! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so Dude, the first part of your inspiration, now, yeah. First attack is an eight. Eight misses. I'm going to use my inspiration, which is a d6, okay. I believe. Oh, uh, no, yes. so I'm not. have any modifiers on your attack? Yeah, I'm not going to do the inspiration because that is an eight plus uh, five. So, 13. 13, 13 just hit. That hits, okay, so I will Perfect. roll the d6 then for the damage. And that's a plus three, so that's seven damage. Seven as you whoosh, ah! You're getting pretty good. Is it still alive? It is still alive. I'm gonna fuck him up again. All right, use your bonus action to two weapon fighting. Oh, um, two you weapon don't get, fighting. You don't get your, your uh, proficiency, proficiency bonus. bonus yeah. Right, so that's a plus. That's a plus uh, three or plus six to hit. So a twenty-three. I am sure that hits. Yep. Four, a flat. Oh, six damage. A, a flat six as yeah you whoosh, hit him with the first one, the second one, and this like sort of combos. You turn around and just. And just lop his head off of his body. Okay, this one is dead. <laughs> and then um, I got sprayed with something. I want to yes. move. That was my bardic inspiration. Sorry. You can. I still um, have it, your inspiration. You have, I know. I was just. You have a uh, half oh. movement. I have half movement. Okay. That's fine. Um. Uh, let's pull out the ruler here. Is the there's only no more, right? other? There's just the there's one by the one you. By right? you. The one you're fighting, Cliff. Oh, I didn't do the job. Not yet. Yeah, he's got he's got one hit point. Are you gonna slip so, him from fifty feet out? Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to. I don't have my bow with me, unfortunately. So. I'm you have used use your my, action and bow section. Uh, I have used both, yes. I still have a yep. movement. I'm gonna. You have feline agility. My, yep, you're, you fucking know what it is. I've played with the tabaxi before, yep. So I'll move 30 feet, correct? Uh, yes. Basically, get, being half movement, you get your full movement because it's feline agility. If you don't move, you get double. So. Okay, so I'm gonna move. Where are we going here? All right, here. Yeah, yeah, that works. Yep, that's it. And right. that's my turn. All right, Pam, you're up. You see, most of the bog was taken care of, except for the one that Quobin is standing over. Um, is is very hurt. I'm like lecturing it while we're fighting. You've <laughs> chosen the darkness! Uh, yeah! I'm just gonna watch, I think. Alright. As you cross your arms and watch. Lionel? <laughs> I sheathe my cane sword, kind of fix myself up a little bit. So, your left side is open. And then I'll watch as well. Alright, Corbin. 
Well, do I get advantage? Is that a help action or not yet? I can't help you from here. Okay. Yeah, night. Nice. I, I was it, just got saying. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Well spotted! I fucking swing for 19 to hit. I mean, yep. How would you like to do this? As it's like, I it came up off my boot and I shoved it backwards and it kind of like stutter steps back and then like hisses and then the left side's open and I adjust my stance and as it jumps up, I'm just gonna thunk. Yeah! <laughs> just fucking, fucking knock it out of the park. Like fucking Just like a T-ball. <laughs> just fucking splatter it against the wall. So I I do have a question. Does it splatter more against your mace or more against the wall? Like so which as, one has as, more? As it hits, you see the power that comes from my hands and moves down the like the silvery purple fire towards the head. And then as it kind of blows up, the fire like burns through the mist and like... <laughs> So there's more mm. on like, the wall than on your mallet. I think or a, lot on your it, a lot of it burned up in the, the fire, the magical oh, fire. Oh, it just vaporized. Okay. Okay, I like that. I like that. As you do, and kind of just vaporize them in like this uh, Mark McGuire-esque swing <laughs> with your, <laughs> your mallet. Um, you do see like a leak in the stones over here where you're at. And uh, with a couple um, stones and patching and maybe some of the soil and mud. You, you might be able to patch it, or at least, at the very least, redirect it. Lionel, I found yes. the leak. Well spotted, sir. Well you fought. Hire a mason. Uh, <laughs> sir, there's no masons around. What do you mean? This is mason. He doesn't work. play with us anymore. I will see to uh. it, but it will take most likely weeks, sir. Well, get it done. Are you are you saying we're missing a mason? Yes, the, the stone <laughs> Ah, I, I would surely no. like to have a mason right now. We are missing a mason. We found the leak over here. Shoddy masonry. <laughs> I can't stop. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, write, I note down that I need to find a mason. <laughs> okay. We try to, like, fix it. You can. We've I will try to fix we've it. We've already taken care of it. <laughs> we have. We have not. <laughs> As they're discussing, like we should, we should hire a mason. You're like, uh, you just kind of like go over to the rocks and stuff, and like start to assemble some things around and try to uh, patch up where the leak's coming from. You can make a uh, uh, survival make a check. Medicine, a medicine check. <laughs> uh, not quite. It's more. It's more survival than medicine. If it was a person to be medicine, but it is. It is terrain. That solid ten, baby. Ten plus three, though. Yeah, not um. Low DCs here for level one. Uh, ten is uh, is what you needed to come down here and patch it up. Yeah. As you take, take a couple minutes and uh, just kind of gather some moss and stone and kind of like push it in and like even take your like little flame that you can produce almost on an instant and kind of like almost like cauterize and solder. Yeah, it that's right. Yeah the stone together and so the dripping stops Lionel yes sir scratch that last order <laughs> as you wish sir how much were you and, going uh, to pay that, that mason well you're not licensed by the guild are you well we could tell the people at the bar I sure am licensed by basement. the guild I want, I Insight check. Deception. <laughs> you can GM roll it to me if you want. Okay, uh, let me see if I can do that. Well, if that's true, Lionel, you take care of it. You click things. it, and then uh, when you have the dice up, there's that little GM circle. If you just grab from there and throw it, it'll it'll throw a GM die. For real. In Tailspire. Nice. How do you roll? I guess I'll. What is it against it? I'll insight. Yeah, insight versus uh, Chris's oh, deception. Let's throw it out I here. I also so wanted to insight that too. Oh, 17! You gotta beat a 17 to. 23. Dang it. 19. Three. Three Wait, was I a 19? Somebody was a 19. 
I think I was 19. I mean, I rolled on my table, yeah. but I can roll. I was a 19. Uh, yeah. That's fine. Quobin and, uh, Quobin and Surge see that he is lying, and he is not <laughs> part of the masonry guild. But Lionel, you buy it. <laughs> Lionel, don't fall for his treacherous ways. What do you mean, son? He seems very good fit for the job. I don't doubt his ability, but if you're not licensed by the guild, you can't be paid for these such services. I see, sir. Um, you know, I you're didn't get up there on stage and lie. Befuddled. I would have been swindled, sir. Yes, indeed. <clears throat> Pam, I won't hold it against oh. you. He says. Oh, it's all in good says, fun. Holding it against you. <laughs> 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 As you guys finish your conversation about the masonry and uh, masonry guilds that you're a part of or not a part of, a flickering light comes from the right side of the, the caverns down here. As the left side, you've taken care of the boggles, seem to have sabotaged into into Maggie Miley's, and well, just to, to be advised, you've patched game up. Masters received two guidances from Snog. I still have mine. Okay. So where we get I, that? Uh, I will mark hey. those. Those are for the GM. I will mark those with uh, oh. my 2D4s here that I will put on my table. Thank you, Patrick. You're going to kill so, us, Pat. Thanks. So, real quick. There's like... a flickering, almost like torch light around the right cavern, as you guys have patched up. And from here, you... I mean... I've taken Miley's instructions and, and stopped the flooding to her basement, but there's something else down here. So upon my last movement, that was illegal because yes. I, no, no, it wasn't. I moved 30 feet. So the next six seconds I can't move, but since right. combat has ended, I right. can now move. I've moved yes. further down the cavern. I'm still looking for more wildflowers, things of that nature. And also, at this point, am I moving towards the light that you speak of? Yeah. Yep. Okay, so are there any more flowers that I can pick? There there are, yeah. There's at least one more. If? Unless, so if it's there's it. one more in the way where um, you would keep your uh, kind of party still in sight. If you want to keep going, there could be more, but just... Like, yeah, as you're about to turn a corner and see down a different sort of part of the cavern and still keep them in sight, there is one more there. So, I, I'm not necessarily moving that far ahead. Um, it's the end of combat, I'm here. If there is another pickable flower in my direct path, I will take it. Otherwise, I will notice the light. How far away am I from it? Is it like three feet away is it a hundred feet away um as you kind of like turn the corner there there is a, a triflower frond near you but down down the little cavern hallway there you can see the flickering of two sources of light um there is a stone kind of sticking out of the wall that has a little kind of bluish glow to it and then there's now like brazier or torch flickering from a, around a different corner Sticky. Oh, which flower did I pick first? Was it orange, yellow, or red? Or was it something different? You got one of each. Um, I thought, yeah, well, I you did, but then I, the if there time. was one on my path, I would have picked that too, like just on my way as walking. Sure. It is a red. Okay. And then moving forward, I will sneak forward to get a better look at the light sources and then not move again. And Make just wait for the party. Hey, that's good. That's a 17 plus 5. 17 plus 5, wow. Huge for level 1. You kind of go further up to cavern and get to a spot kind of solid stakes in the snake style where you kind of turn and look. As in front of you, there's a rock perched out like almost this blue illuminating crystal but around the corner you see the flickering of flame this chaotic 
energy. And you see what where the cavern turns from this dark purple underdark cavern to an actual structure. But the doors are ajar. And inside that, you see the flickering of flame. And a creature kind of whooshes about. So up until this point, I will have assumed I've not seen any missing casks or bottles of wine that we were sent, right. basically sent down here to find. I've not seen any missing crates or like busted pieces of wood or anything like that. Um, so just to clarify, Maggie Miley never said they were missing. They said there's a problem in the cellar. Okay, the uh, kidnapping okay. turned uh what's that was all quoven where somebody somebody's stealing the wine okay that was, uh, okay the kidnappers so the were answer stealing is, the wine they were kidnapping so the, the wine no. <laughs> kidnapping the answer is no i've You're seen no me. evidence of that is kidnapped dumb. wine you are correct <laughs> i okay. couldn't tell he was very intelligent to me <laughs> so what would you guys like to do I'm I'm waiting for the rest of the party in my hiding spot. Gotcha. Uh, you mentioned there were some bugs with my passive perception before the fight, right? Are they Water just? They are. They're they're kind of periodically bugs. illuminating the caverns here. Do they seem threatening? I mean, I guess not after the fight. They just maybe sat there. Uh, most of them have kind of scurried down the cavern a little bit. Um, okay. Opposite to where the fighting was. Okay, yeah, I, I'll, I'll take it as they're towards you. Yeah, I'll, I'll take it as they're kind of passive, and I'll try to unstick myself from whatever I'm in and uh, make my way down towards. Um, well, everyone's to the, I guess, west of the cave, so I'll, I'll just try to unfree myself and say, "Hey, where'd uh, where'd that cat go?" Can I make a check to see if I can see him? Uh, yeah, perception. Okay. Dang it! Natural one. Oh, oh, you have no idea. You turn around, you don't see any trail of him at all. I'm a mostly black cat in the dark, so. I know, but do I'm with that from what you the will. dark. <laughs> You're I'm just from the dark. dark. Is that what you said? Liner. Yeah, I'm oh. Cool. Yeah. I believe cool, cool, that cool. this was what the fairy maiden was speaking of, but I have a feeling that we're not done yet. More darkness lingers. Do you think we'll stumble upon the kidnapper, sir? I think we just might. Sethanin guides us, and we must follow her lead, and I'll start going towards the other side. I'll start okay. following him ten feet back, as always. Ten to five feet back. Then I assume okay. at some point we stumble up on a cat. My passive perception was pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, he, as you guys kind of turn the corner and turn a couple corners, you see a rock illuminating this blue glow um, faint, very faintly. But um, as you guys turn, Sphinx kind of gives you like a, you know, like a Navy says like, hey. I do the same thing to Lima. Stop. <laughs> As thing you, I, there's something. I guess I'll do the the Wild Co. SOP standard operating procedure of hand signals, or whatever I'm used to doing, being yep. what I am. Yep. Does any do I get like any sign back of recognition from anyone? I'd like to do or... an intelligence check. Yeah, everyone make a. Straight up intelligence check. I just critted, so. Yeah! This guy gets it. This guy fucking gets it. A natural 20 no. for a total of 19. It's <laughs> somewhere. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Another Drekar yes, nose situation we got going on here. <laughs> oh, I. Fuck that up. Oh, I... Those of you over 15, um, nope. the hand signals he gives out. For some reason, Quobin, you understand. Um, they're not in any sort of language as they're uh, unwritten in mostly sign language, but 
the little hand signals he gives, you know there's a threat ahead that he has told you all to be quiet about. I know a threat lurks ahead. We must approach with caution. Yes, sir. Follow my lead now, guidance line. Okay. We, I go um, up there, though. I'm not stopping. Yeah, if I hear him say, like, follow my lead, I'm moving in. I'm going to try to move in before him. Got it. Sneakily. To try yep. to get a vantage point Shield on whatever still. it is. And okay. I still have inspiration. Or not inspiration, but No, you uh, used guidance. this. Oh, I did. No, did I? Use inspiration, yeah. Did you? I don't yeah, think I did. did. I think I. I don't think know. You're right, you're right. You didn't. You said you were going to, and then you did so. your bonuses. Yeah. yeah, yeah so good. I still have inspiration. Still have inspiration. Okay. Um, I'll be. Is anyone? In the back and be like, guys. I think we secured the beer. I don't know why we're going deeper. All right, and I'll be in like the back of the line. Never leave a job half finished. As you guys go through, you see two kind of iron doors branded with like these huge handles, bigger than. Um, what it would be for a standard human. They're both ajar. And there's flickering a flame in here. Um, what looks like from um, some torches. Does anyone... And there's some runes and stuff on the door frame of your entrance here. Does anyone read Primordial? No. 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 Okay. So, as you guys continue in, so um, why you make that stealth check, Sphinx? I see, sir. There's some type of writing on the door. It's unintelligible. So, so for it clarity, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to sneakily stay ahead of the party. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm making a point to stay ahead of the No, I got it. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Make, make your stealth check. Okay. Sphinx, where are you going? Over here. Don't fucking yell, dog. <laughs> That's a 12. Yeah, well, that's what you get. Okay. All right, level one. Uh, um, fun. you sneak in. <laughs> And I'll bring your character to where you are. As you get up and sneak into this next room, kind of taking a wide angle. You see lurking around in here a large slithering snake. That kind of like. Um, it does not seem to have noticed you. I look down but, and I touch my un under armor <clears throat> and I say basically just to myself in in Elvish, uh, the great snake. And that that's just narrative fluff bullshit. But it is here. And it almost see like as it's do as it's slithering around, it seems like something is bothering it. It's red scales and skin kind of like as it like <clears throat> kind of coughs for a second as it seems to have digested something. Is there any blood or uh, there's, clothing, there's weapons, um, anything like that around? There is not. But you seem to have snuck in. The, the party behind you that we're following you. Corbin, leading. Corbin, you walk into the room as a snake kind of <laughs> larger than you've ever seen about two times the size of you with these red scales and as it hisses at you its neck seems to flare up in a way where these like, kind of sparks flutter off of it fear not Lyra. we will vanquish this Are sparks of a red color or a blue nature uh red you guys pass the blue so, okay. Lionel, I'm going to drag you up your 10 feet, specifically behind Quobin. And Surge behind that with Pem. 
you guys want to be farther back, I will allow it. I'm gonna put you guys right there. I was in the back of the line. I'm fine where you put me. All right, roll initiative, everyone. Yeah, we're doing it again, real quick. Fifteen for me. Do I still have Shield of Faith on? Um. Ten minutes from when we. No, first came no. Out. I think it would have. I think it would have faded because. You did it when you went into the cellar, yeah. and then it okay. probably yeah, 10 minutes. Is there a short little spell? Yeah. Is my, is my inspiration still up? You do still have inspiration. And I can you cast that on anything, uh, right? <clears throat> Correct. I'm gonna, uh, for sure, inspiration is a d6. Yes. So I rolled a six <laughs> on my initiative order. I'm gonna roll, oh shit, I have two of them. I'm uh, trying to roll this in Tailspire. I'm going to roll my inspiration. Let's take the second result before I roll it. I'm just saying the second one is the one we're taking. All right. Because everyone just roll your dice that you needed to roll and then tell me your initiative. 11. Eight. 11, Pem. Okay. Eight, first thing. Six. Six for Quobin. Also a 15. six for Surge. Six for Surge. 15 for Lionel. Okay, uh, Quobin and right? Surge, what are your decks? Who has a higher decks between Quobin and Surge? Probably Plus two? I'm 10, so yeah. Okay. 15 total, Lionel, yeah. turn order. Uh, whoops. Lionel will be up first. All right. Lionel, you are up. You see Quobin walk in, and to the left of a few statues, you see a giant kind of red scaled snake turn and hiss in your direction. I walk up to Quobin and just calmly just unsheath my sword. This seems to be our biggest uh, quarrel, sir. A snake wasn't even on our list. Should I put it on the list? Later. And I will pass my turn. <laughs> uh, hold the action. Uh, sure, I'll use the dodge action. Okay. Uh, Pem. Uh, I'm gonna move up about five feet or so, not not very far, just like peek in the room and uh, throw my flame. I'm gonna do produce flame and just like chuck it at him, at the snake, okay. and see what happens. All for right. fun. Use Lame. For fun. <laughs> yeah. 14? Uh, let me look, I'm gonna look it up here. I don't know if it's an attack. It might be. It might be a save. He might be dead. Yeah, well, maybe he did. You can uh, also he attack with the flame. What did he maybe do? Yeah, yeah. As you throw <laughs> the spell you've had in your hand, kind of producing your torch, you just use, like, whip it. And what was the four, 14? 14 just hits. Yeah, oh, right. It's 1d8. Roll damage. Roll high, buddy. I'm trying. No, oh, I got a three. <laughs> mm. Weak. Do you get your spell mods? As you... uh, I don't um, think I have any right now. No, you be... this one doesn't. Okay. It's, a, it's a cantrip, so. Ooh, yeah, it's not a... You, you see him just the, the torch it. fire he's been holding this entire time. He just immediately, instinctually lets it rip through the, the halls here as it hits here the, comes the ball. Ooh. As it hits the snake, as it kind of <laughs> kind of hisses. And Lionel has guidance thanks to Snog77. Oh shit, Kirby's got two guidances. I have two guidances yep. too. Yep, I, I have two guidances, yeah. So, the snake is going to slither up. Slithery snake. Slither. God, it makes the mess. I was going to ask you on my turn, Kirby, just how scary it looks, but I believe this will answer my question. It will. <laughs> so, <laughs> it is going to attack. Quobin with a bite for a 
17 to hit. That hits. Doesn't okay. hit with Shield of Faith, but it hits without it. <laughs> so take four piercing damage and one fire damage. Ooh. And as this bonus action, it's going to illuminate this brazier here. As it kind of like bites you and then it, it kind of recoils a little bit and just kind of coughs and then <clears throat> spits a flame at this brazier. Oh, man. As now it is more on fire. And that is its turn. Sphing, you're up. Still hidden. Surge okay. on deck. I'm still hidden. Great. Uh, quick question as a point mm -hmm. of rules. Um, actually, it's a two-part question. Me trying to calm an animal or beast as the yeah. system dictates. You can always uh, oh, Would try. that be an action or a bonus It action? would be an action. Okay. Part B of this question. If I do decide to spin my action as such, would I still be able to, with two weapon fighting, bonus action attack? No. Um, no. Yeah, oh, it's yeah. attack with the weapon, I think, is what it yeah. says. Yeah. I think it's you okay. have to attack with the weapon in your other hand. Yeah, because it's your offhand. It's kind of like being a monk. You can't use... Flurry of blows. Let's, Flurry let's, of blows. Keep, let's keep pushing. Yeah. 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 Sorry. I just I wanted to clarify. I'm gonna. Yeah. No. Good question. Um, new character, new fucking <laughs> race. Not race. Class. Who dis? Uh, nobody's ever played a rogue. Ranger. Who am I? Oh, good. Fuck you. Um, All good. We pass time, or let's pick it. Let's. Uh, I'm gonna sneak time. up behind him. And okay. uh, I would assume I get flanking. Yes, flanking. So I'm just gonna fuck them up. I'm gonna fuck them up. So with advantage. That's a Ooh, 19 that's naturally. Good. 19 hits. Ooh. And that's a natural 20. Nice. So <laughs> I was waiting for the first attack roll crit. I. I'm gonna. We're gonna do homebrew rules here on the crits. The first die is going to be max die damage, and then the second one you roll. Okay. So the first die. Then so that way you don't roll nat, two nat ones on your 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 die damage. But the first one's gonna be max. So the first one will be one uh, d six plus three. So that's you're gonna do six damage plus your three plus another d six. I think you might regret that later so on with just... me, bro. <laughs> I might, but also same thing's gonna happen for me, so. Okay, okay, yeah, that's true. So you just roll your normal minutes. damage, Squeak, and then we'll add the dice. Roll your no normal damage, then we then we add the, the max die damage. There we oh. go, that balances, that oh. balances out. <laughs> so, in addition, I'm going to en engage with a favored foe. I make this okay. specific enemy my favorite foe, and I get to roll another d4. For that. For damage? Yes, for damage. Yeah, gotcha. And all three damage. Another three. So it, it was Got nine it. plus one is ten, plus three is thirteen, I believe. Yep. That's I got right. It. That, that was my first hit. Second hit. It will also get um it will also get favored foe. I believe Ooh. that misses Bob. That is going to miss, Bob. So everybody's Bob. As you hit this creature your uncle. and you crit it and kind of stab through its thing as it kind of recoils, and, ah! um, it releases as you carve through its scales. Take three fire damage as it shoots out almost like this internal body heat flares out at you. Three oh. fire damage, okay. Um, Is that a reaction or does it seem natural? That seemed natural. As okay. Surge, you are up. Um, all right, I'm just kind of 
shocked by the snake that just slithers into view of the doorway. I go, oh, fuck. And I will use Bardic Inspiration on uh, Corbin here, since he seems to be next. Where is Corbin on the map? Yeah, I can I'm see right him. I'm right in front of the room. snake. In the front right yeah. underneath the snake. <laughs> gotcha. yeah, yeah, from my Talespire point of view, I didn't see you. I had to twist the camera. So I'll give you Bardic Inspiration. And then for my action, I will... Let's see. Uh, you know what? Um, I will use. Like, no, wait, hang on. Yeah, yeah, I can use vis vicious mockery without yeah, being some, attacked. Yeah, I, uh, I don't have right. much time left in this. I can't really survive another attack, and I don't know if I can survive my own attack. <laughs> so I will. Yeah, I will use. Uh, this is mockery, because he can't trip. And uh, I would say, hey, Snake, you ain't shit. Okay. As a wisdom save? Um, is it? No, I think I... Maybe charisma. Uh, whatever it is, yeah. I rolled a two. Must so... succeed on a wisdom save of 14. So, yeah. Roll damage. He takes 1d4 psychic damage. Is Vicious Mockery the one that makes them laugh? No, that's Tasha's yes. hideous laughter. Oh, he okay. takes right, three right. damage. Don't okay. forget, Kirby, you have two guidances, by the way. I know. I haven't. I literally have two dice here as D4. Um, I right. did real How quick. I did How use my look? inspiration that time, right? Uh, it looks. Guidance, it looks hard. Guidance, guidance only it works for All right. ability checks. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, so I, I hit on the I hit on the one attack, Sometimes. so I, I didn't need to use guidance. Sometimes. Well, attack rolls mm -hmm. don't. Are, attack rolls aren't ability checks. Hmm. Uh, got yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I haven't. I. Yeah, I haven't it's used fine. them yet. Yeah, That's basically what it is. Yeah. Me neither. I wish it. Sometimes Sehanine protects. Other times she harms, and I'll just grab it on the side of the face. I'm gonna cast and inflict wounds. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Nice. I love that. I just imagine oh, no. you well, grabbing it eight, by like its lips. Eight plus five is thirteen. Bardic inspiration. Does that hurt? Hit. Hold on. Thirteen. The creature can add it to one Does ability check, attack I'm, roll, I'm or saving it. roll. You get to bardic inspiration. You get to tell though. So then I'm gonna add five to that. So it's eighteen. Yeah. Total. That hits. I was planning on it, but I can save it if I don't have to. I rolled the 3d10 nope, that, for 21 right. necrotic, and I just... Wow. wow. Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah. Holy <laughs> shit. As you just nice. grab it by by the, like, as it's, like, just sunk its big fangs into you, like, almost hitting your shoulder and, like, your side. Its its mouth is so big. And then you grab it by the, the face and... Uh, I might have had advantage on the roll as well. If, cause it's a How would you like attack. to do this? Well, as you I grab know, its face, it. as I grab its face, the the same kind of purpley silver translucent like moonbeam fire, like first comes from my arms down into its head, burns out its eyes, and then just like shoots down the body, leaving like scarred silver burns. All right, and as it kind of shatters and the silver burns kind of trace its scales and kind of all the way down to its tail. That shatters and this fire energy kind of and all the torches in here just kind of flow back and um, extinguish and this iridescent orb kind of floats in the air for a bit after like outside of like almost like has been consumed by the snake as you've cut it open with your inflict wounds and the other sword and stuff damage that it's taken sits there and then it shatters and kind of curls in this like vortex as it forms into a snake and then just kind of flies around the room as a small fire elemental searching for something kind of jolting around and Coben you're like oh that was on the list and demon then, then just, a small fire elemental put it back on the list <laughs> can I try to catch it it flies and it just woof, hits Pem as Pem, like right in the mouth. It's just like woof, right in his soul, body and soul as it found a host. 
And oh, just, great. As Pem just like, <laughs> kind of starts shaking. And then, Pem, as that same hand you produced flame with and threw at the snake, you then quickly, like, almost uh, involuntarily produce this flame snake that kind of curls around your arms and around and okay. kind of perches up and just kind of flows around your body and feels friendly to you. And in all this right. explosion of the room, of all this fire, as all the torches now, after they're being extinguished from just the initial inflict wounds explosion um, of the snake's energy, um, flames start to heat up. Sorry, I, need, I have music. Oh, that was the same music. Uh, good, good one, Kirby. <laughs> you <correct> <laughs> <laughs> and um, the flames here as partially of the sparks that kind of flicker off the snake go and sabotage you thing as almost like it's hitting your body in, in ways that you've Pem. never pre, pre no it's already infiltrated Pem and kind of sparked out and hit, hit you thing a little bit and Surge and Lionel and and Quobin kind of you, you all duck out of the way, Lionel. You almost com- you kind of combat roll. Vengeful spirit. And uh, as a couple moments pass, and the flames kind of die down, and now the only illuminating light in this room is Pem, kind of gracefully talking to the snake that's curling around and kind of flowing around his body as he seems to have control over it. So so we're both afflicted by this phenomenon. Him and yes. I. Okay. And as it's kind of curling around his limbs, kind of looks up and he seems to talk to it for a second and it just vanishes and as the flames go, the red flames from his arms kind of flicker and he kind of turns back at you guys and that is where we'll end for tonight I'll give him a big thumbs up and I'll take out my song journal and I'll write fire snake under my control you'll end here that's session one of campaign two yeah yeah